Hawks Alive. All right. Happy giving to everybody. Welcome to the VT Pamplin Presents Our Voice podcast live in the atrium. I'm so excited. This has been a very, very large production, so we're very excited to be here with you all today. Uh, I'm not sure if we should talk to the camera or each other. Both. Let's do each other for now. Yeah, I'm Kendall. I'm Ben, your host of the show. If you're just now joining us, this is the first time you're ever seeing this podcast. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Today's event is very special because we are here with Giving Day. Yes. Now, Giving Day is the day in... Virginia Tech, where all of our alumni and even students are giving back to the university they're a part of. Giving Day is super important. It's, it's only about 70% of tuition covers all of the costs for Virginia Tech, and the other 30% comes from things like Giving Day. So PRISM is out here in the atrium. We have about 20 people down there in the atrium. We have prizes. We've got pizza, a prize wheel, pizza, t-shirts, t -shirts, donuts, and the show. So stop by the atrium. You can be on the show. We're taking guests in a little bit. We'll talk about that in a little bit later. And we're also, we've got competitions, we've got games, and it should be, it should be a fun episode. So thank you so much for tuning in, yes. and happy Giving Day. Happy Giving Day. This is Virginia Tech's second Giving Day. We st kicked it off last year. It's a thing a lot of other colleges do, but Virginia Tech wanted to take their whack at it. Take their, yeah, take yeah. their shot. And so right now on the Giving Day website, it says we already have $89,000 raised for Virginia Tech, which it, is it's awesome. It's been open for 31 minutes. So, so that, It's going really well so yeah. far, and we're hoping to keep it going. Um, now, if you're a current student, you may be wondering, okay, why do I have to be giving and giving day? You know, why is it important? It doesn't really matter. To me, I already pay tuition, and we're going to debunk that myth in a little bit because it does apply to you. Yeah, we're so bringing on a special that. guest to talk through that. So the show's going to be live for about two hours. Right now it's 12.31, so we're at one hour and 59 minutes left. <laughs> if we end up going over, we're just going to keep going. We've got a pretty exciting episode planned. Uh, we've got the whole team here. Everybody, it's a giant, giant effort. Uh, we just want to take a minute to thank everybody who's been helping. So first off, thank you to Chris, our producer. Thank you to all of our writers. Right now we have Alex and the rest of them will be joining us in a little bit. And a massive, massive thank you to Mr. Jim Dickens, who is the IT director here in Pamplin. He has been working nonstop. He spent his spring break setting up this event. My plan was to just have like an iPhone 10 in a room <laughs> and just do that. But right now you can see it looks pretty professional. Um, so thank you to him. Excuse me, and thank you to his whole department for working on this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really exciting to be able to, we look very official. Like, people in the atrium have been stopping, like, what is going on here? We've gotten our pictures taken. Uh, people, yeah, strangers are coming up to us and just taking pictures. It's, it's, been, it's been fun. We've only been sitting here for about 45 minutes. Yeah. And even before we were live, people are just like, this is huge. You know, what's, what's going on? They don't know. Well, hopefully, they figured it out by now that it's the Our Voice podcast it's live. Disruptive marketing, it's, I guess. It's disruptive experiential marketing. Yes, that's what we'll call it. Yes. So we'll how put on you, your resume. Yes, actually. <laughs> happy March 19th. Happy Tuesday. How are you doing today, Kendall? Doing yeah, pretty well, pretty well. I'm pretty hyped for this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, what I'm, about you? I'm doing well. I'm very excited to actually be doing this. I I don't know about you, but I had, like, for the whole morning and, like, last night, I had, like, you ran cross country in high school, right? No. Okay. Did you, like, run anything I in high school? dance. You dance. Okay. Yeah. So I had, like, performance anxiety Oh, then I night. totally know what you mean. Yeah. yeah like, we did halftime shows. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very real. So, it, like, literally when I woke up this morning, I was almost, like, sick to my stomach because I was so nervous to do this because we've never done this live. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell, but obviously <laughs> our, our podcast hopefully that we not. are doing. Yeah, hopefully not. Is, is very edited, it's very, you know, it's very relaxed, it's not a whole lot of pressure, and yeah. so doing it live is a lot, lot more pressure, yeah. but it's going to be fun, I'm excited, hopefully we don't mess up too bad, and if we do, then it's live, so there's nothing we can do about it. We're going to call it candid. Yeah, we'll call it candid, uh, real, real people doing real things, yeah. there you go, I'm watching people just walk around because they're afraid to like walk through I the know. shot. I <laughs> we have giant posters telling people to just walk through because we don't yeah. want to be too disruptive, we have more disruptive things going on later, um, but there's I'm excited there's for around. those. I dig it, yeah. How was, uh, how was your spring break? We are we are just back in spring break for those of you who do not go to Virginia Tech. Yes. Um, today is the second day back from spring break. How was your break? It was great. I went to Arizona and California with my three other roommates. Oh, wow. We basically road tripped. We started in Scottsdale. We went to Joshua Tree. Sure. And we went to the sand dunes 20 miles north of the Mexican border oh, in wow. California. That sounds fun. <laughs> then we went to Sedona. Was it hot there? Phoenix. It actually, we hit it at a cool week. Okay. It was really windy, which is sure. like very rare for that area. Nice. So like before we went, it was all 80s, and then the, the week after we left was all 80s. But when we right were there, was it was like mid 60s. I have to say, that. I was living vicariously through your through your Instagram yeah. just because it looked like such a fun trip, and I was stuck at home. Uh, I, I had, had my camera the whole time. Like I'm telling yeah. you, I was rock climbing with, with one hand because I had a camera <laughs> in the other. <laughs> Got to get the shot. I did yeah. It. You know it was serious when I put it in my backpack. Right there, you go. That's when it was real climbing. Yeah. <laughs> so for spring break, I I had to work. Um, I wait tables at a restaurant back in yeah. my hometown. I love doing it. Me it's, too. It wasn't a bad thing. Plus, I got 
good amount of money for it. Um, and then I spent two days in New York City. Yeah. I took a day trip um, to New York City, caught some slices of, of pizza. Can authentic. I tell everyone about your text? Yes, please. So I'm like in the middle of my spring break and I get this text that says, hey, are you busy? Which usually within PRISM, which is our organization, that means like, can you do some work do right now? Can you do something for me, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, um, let me carefully craft this so I seem willing but unavailable. <laughs> Let me make it sound like yes, I can help, but also don't ask me to help you. <laughs> this is essentially what it was. Because I was, I was like, at, I was somewhere. I was in the middle. Oh, we I was about to drive way. to Joshua Tree, right? Yeah. And, and I texted you yeah. because I was planning my trip. So the reason that yeah. I went was I was going to talk with some companies that I want to intern for. It was a very business-oriented trip, and so I was kind of I, I need some fashion advice. And if you don't know, <laughs> Kendall is very well versed in this this field. And so I texted her and I said, hey, are you busy? Yeah, I just get this picture from a dressing room. Yeah, just in the Target dressing room. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, what do you think of this outfit? And you're like, it's good. You need to cuff your pants, you know, wear a belt, and maybe change the color of your shirt. It doesn't no, really No, I didn't say that. Did you not? Okay. No, did so someone else say that? I ended up going with a different color your shirt mom. anyway. Yeah, my mom probably said it. Um, but so it was just like, you're on the way to Joshua Tree to do a hike, and you get a text from me. It's like, hey, I need help with my does outfit. Does this match? Yeah, does this match? Yeah. Exactly. And it ended up working perfectly. The outfit looked awesome. Thank you for your help. And my trip was fun. I got I got various slices of pizza. I'm, pizza is literally my favorite food. Okay. And so New York is like, yeah, the best place to do go. Do you do that. like the the pizza reviews like Barstool Sports? No, I should have. My boyfriend though. does that. Okay. Every time he, he eats <laughs> pizza. No, like every we were in Germany. Sure. And we had pizza a lot. Yeah. And every piece of every pizza was rated. Was rated. Yeah. Yeah. So the way that we did it, or. We, we ended up just trying a bunch of different types of pizza because we're like, well, I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's get a piece of pizza because yeah. here's a place for it. Yeah, and what was they're funny, on every corner. Yeah, was the best pizza that we had in New York was one of those like hole-in-the-wall 99-cent oh, yeah, pizza slice yeah. shops, and it was the best one. I tried like a bunch of different ones. I was like, no, that one was the best. Yeah. And so we went there a couple times. But yeah, that's what I did for spring break. Very fun. How's your uh, how's your school week going? How was your Monday and Tuesday? It's good. I like to say hit the ground running, sure. but more like sprinting and trying not to fall. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a very it was a shock. Usually, it's not a shock for me. Yeah. But like going back to class, like sitting in my class yesterday, I was like, oh. Yeah. I'm back. Here I, I know. am. I was jet lagged too. Oh yeah. Which kind of sucks. Yeah. We we got up pretty early on the West Coast because we were always trying to like catch the sunrise sure. and like, whatever. But yeah, it was. That's good. Crashed. So if you are just if this is your first time ever listening to this show, we do a podcast. Uh, that's kind of the whole basis of this event. So the Our Voice podcast is our podcast that we do every two weeks. It releases on Monday mornings. Episode two just went out yesterday. If you haven't gotten a chance to listen to it, I highly recommend it. Super it's funny. very funny. Yeah. We do professional development tips on you know how to fix your social media and how to do that sort of thing. And then we also do some pretty fun games. Yeah, um, So bits. check out that episode. Make sure you subscribe to the feed, things like that. We have two episodes up there right now, episode one and two, and episode three is technically this, um, but we'll do have an actual episode three in two weeks on Monday. So, so you can you, find those on Spotify, iTunes, and our website. And our website. On the Pamplin. website for that is pamplin.bt.edu backslash podcast. And that's going to be the home for the everything podcast news. It's going to have all of our bios, all of our profiles for everybody on the team. So myself, Kendall, Chris, and our writers who are standing right next to us. I keep looking at them. Um, yeah. And that's, that's going to be on the podcast website. So then you can also click right there to find the podcast on iTunes and Spotify. It's, we make it super easy for you. All you have to do is click a button a few times, and suddenly you're listening to us and hopefully enjoying it. So that's, that's kind of our, our plug for our own podcast. Um, just a reminder, we are here for Giving Day. Giving Day is, so far, it's going really well. Um, we're up to $104,000 on that's Virginia nuts. Tech as a total. And we have probably 15, 20 of us members in PRISM out here in the atrium ready to give you free things. So come, come make your mark on Virginia Tech. We want and to give you free stuff. We, want to get, we bought all this pizza to give you, so yeah. come and get it. Come be on the show. You can literally walk through the frame. You've seen people do it already. You can say, hi, Mom. We're going to be taking guests in a little bit. We've got some competitions for you. And so hopefully you come and join us on this celebration. So happy Giving Day. Make sure you come out. And if you are just watching at home, that's awesome, too. Make sure you, if you guys want to leave a comment in the YouTube, I literally have it right here in front of me, so I'll be me able too. to read it off. Um, so if you have any questions for us at any time, just put them in the comments. And thank you for watching so far. Yeah, all seven of all you. All seven of you. <laughs> <laughs> Start small. Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, some Pamplin business. First off, Course Request opened today. So Course Request is going to be going for the next week, two weeks? Two. Two, two weeks? Week. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Okay, <laughs> so, of course, because we've been going for two weeks, make sure you go in and if you need help, we have Pamplin Advising at all times. You can do walk-in walk appointments. In, schedule. You can schedule an appointment, whatever you want to do. So, 
make sure you get your course requests done so you can get your classes that you want. Do you, I usually, do you have any trouble with course requests? No, so for my, I had a lot of AP credits coming in, or sure. I still have them, so I am usually more senior than most people trying to get the classes, right. and they do it based on credit hours. Perfect. So I've never not gotten a class. Okay. So I had, I had, before I was officially in Pamplin, we'll get into that in a minute, but um, I had to force add all of my classes. And so oh, my course oh requests, I had to force add like right, crazy right. before I was in Pamplin, yeah. yeah but. but like all of my classes, like my course request was just literally two classes that I could get into. Yeah. And the rest had like business prerequisites, which yeah. was fun. That's how, yeah, I've totally felt that. Yeah. Uh, next up, the Pamplin Society Awards. We are accepting nominations for the Pamplin Society Awards. This is for alumni who graduated from Pamplin who are absolutely killing it in their lives after graduation. If you want to nominate people for the Pamplin Society Awards, go to our LinkedIn profile. You'll be able to find the links there. And those nominations are going for another month. April 19th is when they close. So the Pamplin Society Awards, make sure you nominate awesome alumni for that. What did that one? Yes, we have the Women in Business event. It is in, I believe, Charlotte and DC? Charlotte and DC. Yeah, yep. Charlotte and DC this Thursday. So that's the 21st, I believe. 21st. And yeah, come out. Just support. We'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there. I don't know if I will. Okay, I'll be there. We'll see. <laughs> I'll be a guest, but I'll be there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, It'll come out to the Women in Business event. It's a really awesome event. They do it every year. And so we're excited to see. Very empowering. There's a alumni, lot of big speakers. Yeah. Yes, important speakers. Yeah, for sure. like big names. So. So come out to that. Yeah, I've, I've heard really great things. So that's pretty exciting. And then, as we mentioned, episode two is live. Um, it went live yesterday. Check that out if you like this show or if you want to check out more about the podcast. Um, and then, lastly, we just want to talk about what we're doing here. Just one more kind of recap of what we're doing here. Again, this is for Giving Day. So in the atrium, we're ready to give you pizza, T-shirts. Come spin the prize wheel. Come play cornhole. Whatever it is. Get on the podcast. Yeah, be on the podcast. Come hang out. Um, if you're watching on YouTube right now, thank you for tuning in. Make sure, as we mentioned, leave a comment. We'll be able to read them. And bear with us. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's very organic. It's very uh, uns unscripted for the most part. We have these yeah. we have these outlines, but those are gonna go pretty much off the off the table here pretty soon. Yeah. Um, so it's it's stick with us. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be organic, and hopefully you enjoy it just as much as we are. I'm already having fun. Yeah, me too. Like I, I mean, I love talking, so this is exactly. It's a perfect outlet for you. Yeah. The fact that we're live. I adds can put in, it on my resume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we're live adds an interesting spin to it. Cause like mm -hmm. when we do the podcast. It's, we've, I, we've started to take for granted the fact that we can cut and stuff. Yes, and we've given Chris a, a whole lot time, yeah. of, of editing to do. He's laughing at us right now because episode two was a nightmare to edit because yeah. we definitely take it for granted how like, we can just stop and then keep yeah. going. But episode on one, we like just kind of shot it straight through a wall. Yeah, and then episode two, we were like, oh, can you just like cut here and there and like insert this in? And, and he did a wonderful job. Thank that, you, Chris, yeah, for doing really that. Did. Another big shout out to you. You He's rock. He's bowing keep a little bit. <laughs> yes, good job. Um, also, again, thank you to everybody who has put this show on. Thank you yes. to the IT department. Thank you to Mr. Jim Dickens and his team. Thank you to our producer, Chris, and our entire team, Alex, Mega, Corey. Thank you to all of you. And we could not be here without you. Yep, definitely not. It. All right, so the first thing we want to do is Kendall and I are actually going to do our Giving Day donations on the show. Yes. Um, so we are on we're the... We're just going to talk through it. We're just going to talk you through it. It's super easy. You go to the website. The big old button that says Give Now. Mm -hmm. You click that one. You're gonna go through your area of support. It should be Pamplin College of Business because what's important for us is, since it's only the second year we're doing this, we're focusing a lot more on how many people are giving to kind of foster a loyal audience, yeah. sort of, rather than how much we are giving and how much we're earning. So Pamplin College of Business, we're trying to beat all the other colleges and in so, how many we're, people yeah, are giving. So make sure you choose the Pamplin College of Business. You can then choose a fun designation. So if you're in a club, or you like a club and you want to give back to that club specifically, you can. It's just in the drop-down menu. And there's a couple other funds that you can donate to, specific scholarships, things like that. So for mine, I'm going to click. I don't see Prism. I don't see Prism on there either. Well, this is awkward. That's too bad. I'm just going to leave it blank then. Go Pamplin. I'm, oh, I'm going to put it in my major. Oh, yeah. There is you go. That's smart. Marketing. So for the amount, the minimum amount is $5. That counts as one donation, and that's really what we're trying to capitalize on. We're trying Marketing to get as many donations. Just leave it blank. Go pamphlet. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to get as many donations as possible. So uh, for the amount, I'm going to do my class. I'm going to do $5.20 for the class of 2020. I'll do $5.21. The minimum donation is $5. What? Mm. Oh. So we're being told that PRISM is in the list. I don't see it. Oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's fine. So it's under areas area of support. Yeah. 
So does it not go to PRISM? Or does it not go, count as pamphlet if we donate to PRISM? Perfect. Uh, I understand our acronym. There we go. All right, I found it. We're yeah. good. So just like you were learning, uh, again, that's you want to choose your area of support, that's going to be your college, and then the fund designation is going to be your specific fund that yeah. you want to donate to. Again, it's a candid, yeah, yeah. It's candid. We're working through it just like you guys. Um, so then you got to fill out some contact information. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Should have done this before. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Um, that's okay. How are you this week? <laughs> <laughs> So you got to fill out your email and then obviously your billing address because it's all going to be electronic. Um, it's super easy. They make it really nice and easy for you. Okay. All right, and then you're going to check your affiliation. So <coughs> I am a current student. Current student, yep. Um, what preferred class year would that be? For graduation. Yep. Cool. <laughs> your ideal graduation. Yeah. <laughs> is <laughs> your, how they're trying to phrase graduation. it. An employer matching your gift. Mine is not. Do you have a Twitter handle? Yes, I do. I'm yes. gonna put my personal Twitter. Um, I'm not gonna dedicate it to anyone. You sure, can dedicate you can it to myself. <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna leave blank. Yep. Yeah, I'm not dedicating it, but you can. So you can dedicate it. You can have it in honor of or in memory of, which is a great option. And then at the very bottom, you get to choose if you want to put it on the donation wall. So that means we'll have printouts and we'll be able to put it on the donor wall, you know, your name, how much you gave, just kind of like a, you get to tie yourself to something physical. Yeah. All right. Then you click the Give Now button and it takes you to the next portal. Okay, enter in your card number. And then I'm done. You, you did your giving? Yeah, it says thank you for your business. It's very cheerful. Nice. And so let's see. So right now we've raised one, a little over one thousand and thirty, one hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars, six hundred and twenty-eight donors. So last year we Pamplin had five hundred and twenty-two donors. So it looks like we're well on our way to exceeding that. We're Pamplin doing specific. well so far. Yeah. All right. I'm finishing up my donation. Five eight two. Is the address, zip code, okay, and... You just read hey. your whole credit card number Yeah, just read loud. the whole credit card for you yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Finger. there goes mine. All right. We, we just donated. Did our, we, we participated in giving day. I'm and in. now we challenge you. I'm yeah, in. Exactly. I'm in. Are you in? And now we challenge you to do the same. All now right. we have a fun little bit for everyone. Yeah, so next we're going to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Kendall versus I. Okay, so I was really um, feeling a little arrogant about this last night, but yeah. I'm not so hopeful anymore. No? So we, yeah, when we were planning this episode, we kind of did like a um, I just a really practice. wanted to read them. Yeah, and, and these questions are pretty hard. I remember watching this There's show. There's no way we learned this in fifth grade. Right, I didn't learn any of this. No. And so it's going to be interesting. I'm not expecting to get a whole lot of them right. I really want to. I would like to think that I would, <laughs> yeah. as a 21-year-old college student, that I am smarter than a fifth grader. However, I think we're going to be stumped. Yeah, I think so, too. And so... I think I'm honestly just going to read the question wrong. Yeah, so bear That's with us. Big. We're working out some logistics of getting Chris to be able to read the questions to us. Yeah. And then, essentially, the format is Chris is going to read the question. First person to know the answer is just going to shout it. And yeah. we'll keep track of the score. And then the, uh, the winner will win and the loser will lose. And that's it. We'll probably... Yeah. Chris, are we ready to do Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Ready? I'm going to turn his mic on now. All right. All right. All set up. Chris is live. All right, here we go. All right, Question are one. you guys ready to see if you are actually smarter than a fifth grader? I am yeah. very excited. Can you take one step forward? I can't hear you very well. Thank you. All right. Question number one. Who was the second president of the United States? Thomas John Jefferson. Adams. Oh, Frick, it didn't, yeah. It's oh, Adams. my gosh. John Adams? That is correct. Yes. John Adams. Welcome guys, back. I know Thank it's you. not Thank Thomas you. Jefferson. <laughs> All right. I did a whole project on John Quincy Adams. Did you actually? Yeah. That's good. Uh, so one point for Ben. All right, next question. All right. Question number two. I don't want to play anymore. What is the capital of Mississippi? <laughs> I knew um, all the capitals in, in elementary school. I remember we did wait, that. I did them in sixth grade. I did them in fifth grade. Wait, hold on. Mississippi is... Baton Rouge? No, that's Louisiana. St. Paul. The correct answer is Jackson, Jackson. Mississippi. That's right. Okay. Where's so no point for that one. I, I don't even know what St. Paul is. Is that a capital? Maybe. So you're 0 for 2, I'm 1 for 2. 
Let's keep it going. All right, question number three. What is the largest man-made structure on Earth? On Earth? The largest? Is that like volume? Great Wall of China? Uh, I'm going to go with that big building in, in United Arab Emirates, the really tall one. What's that called? Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That one. The correct answer is the Great Wall of China. Wow, nice job. Okay. Which is, it's so interesting that that's so ancient. Like, we haven't beat that yet. Yeah, we haven't. I mean, there's not enough space anymore. You can't beat it. <laughs> oh, please. I flew over the U.S. There is plenty, there's plenty of, space. of space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out in the Midwest. It's completely. All right, tie it up. One, one. All right, question number four. How many hearts does an octopus have? Three. Eight. The correct answer is three. Three. Goodness. Oh. That was a complete guess. It is, it is its legs. It's called an octopus, right? It's like its little tentacle things. <laughs> yeah. Duh. I, well, I thought that maybe that would be right. Maybe like each tentacle has a heart. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> each tentacle has a heart. There you go. All right, question number five. What is the fourth largest country on Earth in terms of total land surface? India. Australia. Correct answer is China. China. No, China's third, I thought. China's fourth. All right, well. <laughs> One to two. How many questions do we have? Do we have enough to like keep going forever? Uh, forever and ever. Two more. Two more questions? Two okay. more questions. I want more. All right, <laughs> number six. What is the female part of the flower called? Oh. The, the pistol. No, that's the man. Oh, you're right. This, 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 the this, this, Stemmen? Yeah. One of them is one of them. I think the pistol is the, the female. That's my guess. What's your guess, Kevin? The correct answer is the pistol. Oh, really? Tied up, 2-2. Two, two. That sounds more massive. All right, so this is the decider, right? This is the okay, last hold on, one. Hold on. So there were seven questions. We've only gotten four of them right. Together. Together. We've only gotten four <laughs> of them right, which is embarrassing. But. So this question is going to decide who I'm is... I'm so mad about the first question. I just got way too excited. I think I'm willing to wager that neither of us are smarter than a fifth grader. Yeah. However, one of us is smarter than the other, which we're about to find out. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Wasn't gonna question go number seven. Okay. What does an anemometer measure? Anemometer? Heartbeat. Maybe. Okay, hold on. Oh, is it... Hold on, hold on. A barometer is pressure. A thermometer is temperature. An anima, 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 right. anima, 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 I want to say, it, I feel, <laughs> I want to be like oxygen levels in the blood, but that seems wrong. That yeah, seems too complicated. That seems way too complex. I'll give you guys a hint. It does have to do with weather. Altitude? With wealth? Pressure. Weather. Weather. No, we already did pressure. Um, oof, anemometer. I've definitely heard of it before. Is it the, um, is it like the atmospheric Humidity? makeup? The correct answer yeah. is the wind speed. Wind speed, duh. So neither of us are smarter than fifth grader, but we are the same level of smart. Yeah. Good for us. All right. All right. That was good. Thank you for those questions. Those were good. Did you guys over there, did you guys know any of the answers that we didn't? Megan told me one of them wasn't right. <laughs> she was like, that's not it. She was like, you're really dumb. But you guys went over there like, it. oh, they're so dumb. We know the answers. Okay. When I said Thomas Jefferson, though, everyone was just like, <laughs> like, that's the third, Kendall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. John okay. Adams. George Washington. TJ. John Adams. Jo yeah, John Adams was second and I thought he was second and five. Um, well, so his grandson James or Madison, son? James Madison was fourth. So there's a John Adams and then there's a John Quincy Adams. Okay. So those are different people. Yes. I did a second grade report on it. Okay. You got it. I mean, I don't know. I'm not smarter than my second grade That's self. Okay. <laughs> we're just stalling. We're, we're getting ready for our next bit. So up next, we have an awesome interview with the wonderful Donna, Donna Wordelick, who has just been promoted. So congratulations to her. She is now... Oh, she's right there. I she, thought we lost her. She's, yeah, she's right next to us. She will tell you the official new, name of her new position because it's pretty complex. Yeah. Um, so she has been an, an, a powerhouse in Pamplin. She does so much for Pamplin and for PRISM. You guys and, are familiar with her class, yeah. Intro to Marketing. She's been awesome, and we're very, very thankful to have her on yes. the show today. So if Donna is ready... Just about done with hair and makeup over there. Yep. Just bring her over. <laughs> Donna, are you ready to come on the show? We don't have hair. All right, I'm though. taking, I'm giving my seat up, and you will be taking Join over. Me, Donna. So I'm we excited. have, we have 20 minutes until our first phone call, <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on that. Wait, it's at 120. 115. 115. All right, you're up. Okay. Welcome. Hello, and thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
You know that I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we know. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to jump right into it. We only have 20 minutes until our first phone interview. Got it. So, first, how are you? I am doing well. Pretty excited yeah. today. Yeah. We've been working for this for... I just want to say the last year or so, but we've certainly, um, the last three months have really just crushed it, so. Yeah. I have a couple quick fire questions for you just to loosen it up, get to know you a little bit. Always. What's your favorite restaurant in Blacksburg? I'm going to have to go with The Coop. Yeah? It is just phenomenal. He is a world-renowned chef. Really? He started I've heard good Yeah. He started Black Hen. They have the best Brussels sprouts that you will ever have. Um, and his just everything that he does is just absolutely phenomenal. You will not have a bad experience. Really? Okay, I'm gonna go. What's the last thing you bought? Oh, um, a pair of Warby Parker glasses. Yes. That's what these are. I agree. I like it. <laughs> Describe yourself in one word. Enthusiastic. I agree. I can vouch for that. <laughs> and what's your? This one was submitted by a fellow prison mind. What's your favorite song to cycle to? Donna loves a good cycling session. Oh, you know. Look, it just gets you yeah. pumped up. I mean, I still am Black Eyed Peas, let's okay. get it started in here, yeah. you know, or any Stones music. A um, throwback. Eddie Vedder and I have a special connection um, when I cycle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So, down into the business of this. Who are you? Mm -hmm. You just got a new role. Yes. What is it? Yes. So I am um, Donna Wordelick, and I'm an associate professor of practice in the marketing department. So I teach about five or six hundred students. Okay. And my other part of my role, so I do teaching 75 percent, 25 percent. I've just been promoted to the director of marketing strategy and analytics for the Pamplin College of Business, and excited to see the future of Pamplin with our global business analytics complex, our future, and then making sure that we're analyzing all metrics appropriately in terms of our overall impact through marketing doing big things. Well, congratulations Thank on you. the promotion or the step in a different direction. That's great. Yes. You want to tell us a little bit about Giving Day, why it's so important and why some students might, you know, combat what people are a little hesitant to donate for. Yeah. So, you know, every university has been doing this for quite a while. So we're, I'm really excited Virginia Tech's doing mm -hmm. it. We started doing it last year, but there's so much potential because it really, a lot of it is targeted towards our alumni and really socializing the idea of giving back once a year, one big day to give back for whether it's programs, you can donate to any different program that you want on the drop down menu. You can donate to PRISM, you can donate to SEED basis, or you can, you know, donate for a general fund for Pamplin or for the new building. Yeah. Um, you know, as a mom who has a senior in high school heading to college and I think the payment for you all is tuition right so you say why do I why do I want to give a little bit extra and it's thinking about your organization where they are now where you're going to be in a few years and what you're leaving for your organization or for your um, the department that you get your major from so yeah. I say support as any way that you want to because just so just be a part of it be a part of the day in one way or another because you're helping all over anyway I love that. I love that. Giving back. This school's hopefully just given so much to everyone mm -hmm. who comes through it. So I think it's special. A special way to be able to give back other than just the yeah. red tape. Yeah, it is. Or get the phone calls or whatever the case. Yeah. It's like one big day, 24 hours of celebrating this university. Yeah, it's each almost of the like colleges. commemorative. It is. It very much is. And of course, we are competing. So Pamplin is competing against all the other colleges for the most donation, um, for the most participants. Yes. Not money, yeah. but more participants. Great, and so what do you think makes Pamplin special? Clearly we want to stand out today, mm -hmm. stand out among other college of businesses, stand out among other colleges within Virginia Tech. So what mm -hmm. do you think makes Virginia, or Pamplin College of Business so unique? Well, Pamplin Hokies run business. Yeah. I mean, we run the world. We run Wall Street, Madison Avenue, Silicon Valley, LA, Chicago, you name it. We're out there and we're really putting the foot on the pedal of all of different programs as it relates to innovation, technology, cybersecurity, advertising, social, digital, analytics, finance. We run it, baby. Yeah. We got it. Pamplin's We're one of the out. only colleges to partner with a huge corporation like Amazon, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Pamplin is, and, you know, you, Virginia Tech doing that is huge. Obviously, Pamplin with our focus on data analytics was a huge part of that mm -hmm. as well. So the future is beyond bright for all, for all of us. Great, so special. So do you have anything you anything else you want to say? Anyone you want to give a shout out to? Or? I would like to give a shout out to all of our um, current PRISM students and our PRISM alums because you have all worked so hard, more behind the scenes than anyone will know. And 
Words cannot express my gratitude for everything that everyone has done here. Your, your PRISM alums would be very, very proud because they were here too when we first started it. So thank you and thank you Kendall for really just launching and working on this amazing podcast. So many alums have reached out and they're so excited. So and it's exactly what we needed. So thank you and Ben for doing all you're doing. We love everyone's feedback. I'm actually just looking now when we have a comment says, thank you for doing this today, Ben specifically. You're my hero. <laughs> Was that his producer? That's the producer. Also, we just passed $10,000 donated. Woo! That's exciting. I'm actually looking now. It's over 11,000. Awesome. That's quick. That's crazy. It's only been an hour, exactly an hour. Outstanding. 10, oh my God. That on that track. Yeah, if we did 10,000 an That's, hour for yeah. we. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Make it happen. Yeah, make it happen. Make it happen. Go That's big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank it was you. It lovely having you. I appreciate it and um, look forward to hearing more great podcasts. You're my morning routine, so I love it. <laughs> good, good, great. See, everyone take a hint. Uh, That's right. It's a, it's a good Subscribe, especially 3104, participation point. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> take a little screenshot of that, put yeah. on your PowerPoint. Totally, exactly. Yeah. It's that easy. It's that easy. <laughs> great. Well, thank you so much. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon take yes, care donna will be here all day in the atrium too if you want to talk yes. to her about anything okay congratulate her <laughs> thank you, donna. it was so fun thank you oh my god you guys i'm back oh wait you got stickers yeah i brought us stickers for our donation it says i'm in these are cute stickers guys thank these you. would look great on your laptop I'm gonna put it on, on your water yeah. bottle on your shirt these are oh you're putting on your laptop i'm gonna put it on my because i gave but these are laptop stickers they're nice like that these are both. good laptop stickers. I'm going to put mine on because I gave. Is my mic live again? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> just want to make sure. Did you see your comment? Yes. So thank you Is to my friend for your friend? reaching out. Yeah, it's one of them. Yeah. I, I told him about the show, and he, he said he would log in and leave a comment to make me laugh. So there he is. All right. So that had the interview go? I took a lot. I walked around. Oh, you did? Yeah. No, yeah, it was great. It was great. She recently bought Warby Parker glasses, which nice. is what I'm wearing. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. So we matched up like that, so in sync. Yep. So next up, we're gonna go ahead oh, and do- Oh, Ben's back with stickers, hold up. Guys, if you're not on the YouTube, if you're not on the comments, do it. It's fun, it could be a fun <laughs> little community for you. Thanks for participating in the comments. Yep, keep that going. <laughs> um, next up, I just wanna go ahead and tell a little bit about my pamphlet story, about how I ended up in this chair right now. Because when I, if you had told me three years ago that I would be here doing a business podcast, live for Giving Day, I would've just been like, that sounds cool, but I didn't even apply me. to be a business major when right, I applied to right. tech. So I just wanna go through a little bit about how I ended up in this chair right here and how you can too, if you want to. Uh, so when I was a senior in high school, it was December my senior year. It was the day before my birthday. No. No, it, was, it seriously was. It was on the 12th of December. My birthday's wait. on the 13th. Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. It was the same for you, right? Wait, it's I didn't. your birthday. The 13th? <laughs> <laughs> We have the same birthday. Wait, but not know I, that? I told you that story before. You didn't tell me the date, though. I was like, it was the eve of my birthday. I got an early decision. Oh, I guess that could be... That's funny. So what did I? I? Yeah, it was the 12th of December, 2015. And That's so weird. I, yeah, I got an early decision. I thought you were, like, making... I thought this was, like, a skit. Like, you no, were telling my real. story. This is, this is, that was my story, too. We've done this bit. I can't believe we didn't bring that up before this. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, regardless, so That's I... That's so weird. You're exactly a year <laughs> older than me. So when I first got into Virginia Tech, I wasn't sure I was going to go there. I was still choosing between a couple different schools. I had um, some acceptance letters from other engineering schools. So when I applied to Virginia Tech, I got into Virginia Tech Engineering. Oh, I, so you went like... Yeah, apparently. And so <laughs> I, I went on my college visits, and as soon as I visited Virginia Tech, that's when I knew. I didn't know until I got here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, oh, same. this is where I want to be. Mm -hmm. And so I, I accepted my, my early acceptance, um, and then I didn't look back. I moved forward and I, I moved in my freshman year. I lived in New Residence Hall East. Um, sweet style, air conditioning, one of the best ones. Um, I was in Pritchard. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I loved my freshman year. However, I was in engineering for my freshman year. And I took almost 10 engineering classes, like 10 engineering core classes. So I took, you know, the regular calculus. I took regular calculus two. I took... Um, you feel like you write like an engineer. Things like that. Your handwriting. Yeah, my handwriting is very engineering-ish. Um, and, and that was because my whole life I had been told by people, oh, you're good at math. You'd, you'd love being an engineer. And so I got to Virginia Tech and I, I personally, I didn't enjoy it. Like when people were telling me what engineers do, I was just like, that's not really what I want to do. You know, like all of those careers sound great for people who like it, but I, 
I'd rather not do that. And so at the end of my freshman year, I completely switched tracks and I moved into the communications department because you can't just transfer into Pamplin whenever you want. No, you can. <laughs> as we know. Yep. And so I moved into the yep. communications oh, yeah. major, excuse me, where I sat in limbo for a year, force adding business classes, getting ready to apply to Pamplin. Great. So I applied to Pamplin in May of my sophomore year and I was then accepted and then I, junior year I was able to finally not have to force add my classes. It is, is a breath of relief. It really is. And yeah. it's really funny that it took me until my junior year yeah. to realize, or to even like get into the official school where I wanted to be. And so there I was sitting, I was, you know, my almost second to last year, and I had, hadn't even been in the right college for the whole time. Yeah. And so once I started pampling classes, I loved it so much more. I was so much more excited to go to class. I was so much more willing to participate and things like that. And I, I wanted to take it to the next level. I was sitting there watching you know, all these amazing alumni that graduated with marketing degrees, and I wanted to be like, I want to be like them. How do I get there? And so I started looking for student organizations to run, to find. And to I found, run? Yeah, I'm, I'm not <laughs> Very running. Very ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for student organizations to join that would help me. And I came across Prism through Donna. She mentioned it in her class. Really? And that's when I, I was in her class last semester, and I applied, and I went through the process, and I joined, and it has been the best decision I think I've made in college. Really? Well, yeah. Among them. I've made, I could I've actually, made a bunch of good yeah, ones. Yeah, I would agree. But it's the, like being in Prism has been so fun and so rewarding, and it's 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 work, but it's fun. Like I, I enjoy doing the work for it, which is awesome. Yeah. And so that's how I, I ended up in Pamplin and in Prism. Now, how I ended up in this chair is another story about how apparently Pamplin had been wanting to do a podcast for a couple semesters now. And then I came in, excuse me, and I, I sort of volunteered to do it. I stepped up and I said, yeah, I'll take on this project, and that was in November of last year. So it was oh, wow. about five months ago. And I stepped up to do the show. That's when I hired, or I, I hired you, Alex, Chris, Mega, Corey, the whole team to kind of help me with this project. So, and, and that's why we're here today live is because of everybody in on the team. I was so surprised when I got the email. <laughs> I was Did you like, like my email? I, I sent like yeah, a really, really he funny He signed it email. XOXO Gossip Girl. Well, like the whole thing was like a little bit serious. Yeah. You know, it was like, down to business, and then just <laughs> at the very at the end, very end it was just a XOXO, XOXO Gossip yeah. Girl. And I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. And that's how both of us ended up here at this desk. Yeah, I guess I'll share my Pamplin story yeah, while we're at it. So I only applied to one school, I Virginia Tech, obviously. <laughs> I was planning on going in-state, and I didn't really have a great option. I don't know. I didn't want to go to UVA, didn't want to go to JMU, but wanted to go to like a bigger school. So those were pretty much my only options in my eyes. And so I came to Tech over the summer, which, you know, it's pretty dead over the summer, There's but no I still here, just yeah. like felt the whole vibe. And I just, it really resonated with me more than like any other school. Nice. What's up? I'm just trying to make sure that our next bit's ready. You're good. Oh, <laughs> Keep going. Yes, You're doing great. It really resonated with me that just the vibe here is just unique and so I really liked it I liked how institutional it looked how academic it looked but it didn't seem too stressed or sure. fast-paced or anything so I applied on the eve of my birthday <laughs> on the eve of our birthday our birthday I can't believe we didn't realize that. that's so weird yeah. I really thought you were like pulling my leg no I'm, I'm, I'm sorry my birthday is December 13th <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got in and that was great and so yeah it's the only, only school I applied to and sure. it's a binding commitment yeah. so that's how I ended up here sure I applied international relations, and I it only took me a couple of weeks to figure out that's not where I wanted to be. Right. I wanted something more substantial, more fact-driven. So slowly but surely, I trekked over into the business school. I started <laughs> force adding on my business classes yep. starting the second semester of freshman year, and had been doing that until this semester. It is so halfway through my sophomore year was the when I got into the business school over winter break. Sure. So. A blessing. I'm very happy to be situated in here now that I don't have to tell everyone I'm a prospective business. Right, you can just say that you're in the business world. I'm a marketing major. <laughs> and that's, I mean, that, even just being able to say where you are, instead yeah. of being like, I intend to do this. Yeah, and people are like, well, it. just do it. Yeah, the, yeah. exactly. We'll just do it. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, Prism. Prism really kept me at the school, honestly. Really? Yeah, once I really dove deep into just the whole marketing program in general, it, I realized that there was something more unique than just a general like marketing program sure. at any other school. So it really, it kept me here to be honest, so. Well, we're glad you're here. Thank you for being on the team. Glad to be here. And thank you for being my co-host. Or I guess just the other host, how's that? Oh yeah, we're we, or you need to change up. If you're on the, <laughs> the, lingo, if you're on yeah. the feed and want to comment what we should um, call ourselves, 
Let's we don't know if we should be two co-hosts or two hosts. I think we should go with two hosts. Apparently, Ben's been calling himself the host. I have, I have not, so... on purpose, been calling myself the host. I know I it seems either. like that, but that's not what has been going on. So that's great. And then our next bit. I don't think we're going to start this one yet. We, not yet. Yeah, we have. I think Update. we're going to go to Olivia with sports if she's ready. Yeah. Can we check on Olivia? Is she ready? Can somebody yell down to Olivia real quick? Yeah. Just make sure she's ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have, up next, we have Olivia Odell with our sports presentation. She's if, on the women's soccer team she's here. She's on the women's soccer team. Yep, she'll tell you a little bit about what's going on for Virginia Tech. And she is down in the atrium right now. Whenever she re is ready, you should be able to see her. And I'm like, oh, shoot, yeah. <laughs> yep, she's on now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Um, I'm Olivia o I'm a double minor in management and marketing. Um, I'm a junior here at Tech, and I also have a team. So I'm going to be your sports anchor for today. Um, first off, we have basketball. I hope everyone's focused on that in March Madness. Um, go Hokies. We made it. We're number four. So that's awesome. Um, everyone's making their brackets, I hope. Right? I'm just yelling. <laughs> I hope everyone can hear me. Um, has everyone here made their brackets? Yeah? All right. How far? <laughs> well, um, the Hokies play this Friday in San Jose against, um, who do we play? We play St. Louis Billikens. Um, they are a 13 seed, so the odds are looking good for us. Um, let's see, a couple Hokies, we're going to ask them uh, what their brackets are like. Lauren, um, you made your bracket, yeah? Yeah, I did make my bracket. So, um, obviously, I have Virginia Tech going all the way. Um, Love that. Go Hokies. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Donna? Have you made one yet? I am um, seeking some guidance. Okay, okay. Yes. Well, if you need any guidance, just put Virginia Tech at the end. Okay. That's all you need. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Hokies are 24 and 8, um, so they had a really good season, and in the past two years they were ranked 8th and 9th, so being a number 4 seed is awesome. Um, let's see, J. Rob, Justin Robinson, um, big, big guy is back. Um, he's going to help the team carry the team. We've done great this year, so we're hoping now that he's past injury um, that he'll make an impact, so we're super excited about that. Um, moving on, we have baseball. Um, they brought their first home ACC series against Pittsburgh this weekend. They're currently 3-3, three and, three, um, and they have a game today, as well as their first ACC game home um, this Friday. So come out and check it out. It's against UNC, so that'll be awesome. Um, moving on, we have softball. They're currently 24, or 21 and 4. Um, they're ranked number 25, which is incredible. Female or male softball? Female, female softball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was helpful. Um, their last game concluded in a 3-0 win series against NC State at NC State. And then they traveled this weekend to Pittsburgh. So good luck to them. Um, come out. They have three games home this week as well against Lipscomb and Binghamton. So come support them and wish them luck this weekend as they travel. Uh, moving on, we have lacrosse. Um, the, our women's lacrosse team has done incredible this year. They have a winning record so far. They spent most of their time in spring break in California, um, in Fresno and Southern Cal. So hopefully they got a little bit of sun while they were there. But um, they finish out their non-conference tournament or non-conference games this week and move on to ACC play this weekend against um, who do they play? Louisville. They play Louisville this weekend. So and that is home. So come and watch them. Come support them. Um, and finally, we have football, and I know it's in the off season, but the spring game is April 13th, so come out and watch them and look forward to that. So now back to you, Ben. Thank you guys for letting me speak. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. Thank you so much. That, that was funny. I'm so glad you did that. I know, so much information, too. <laughs> She's such a good sport. Yeah. Thanks, Olivia. You ha rock. Pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I texted her last night. I was like, hey, do you want to be our sports anchor? And she was like, uh... Yes, what does that entail? And so she's, she's been a really good sport. Yeah, thank she you. really ran thank with that. Thank you for helping us out to Love her. That. Yeah. So um, in just a few minutes, we're going to have our first phone interview um, until she's going to go ahead and call me back in just a minute. Um, and then um, we'll go ahead and do our interview with her. Until then, we have a couple more bits planned out. So if you are in class right now, if you're watching at home, if you're in the atrium and just not doing anything, if you want to come, 
Excuse me, I almost threw up. I'll, I'll get right back to that. We had our first phone call. Here we go. Cliffhanger. Ready? <laughs> Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hold on one second. Apparently the podcast can't. Well, that's not good. No, we're, we're getting it fixed right now. How about now? No, don't put it on a speaker. Can you hear us now? I can, yes, hello. It's awesome, all right, we can hear you. So thank you so much for agreeing to be on the show. Who am I speaking with today? Yeah, this is Lindsay Stewart. How is everyone? We're doing awesome. Good, so you're good. speaking with Ben and Kendall, the hosts of the Our Voice podcast, and we are live in the atrium right now for Giving Day. Thank you so much for calling in. We appreciate it, Ms. Stewart. Absolutely. Well, how are you guys? I, uh, I wish I was in Blacksburg with you all. <laughs> it's nice weather today. It's a good time to be in town. It, we, you it is. cold, but yeah. that's okay. So, yeah, I know, I know. Go ahead. <laughs> we have a very quick interview just for you. Um, first off, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you What do you do? Yeah, so so I graduated. So I was in Prism with you guys uh, a couple years ago. So I graduated from Virginia Tech in 2015. Um, I was a marketing major. Uh, so while on campus, I was um, in Prism, like I had mentioned. I was um, a Hokie ambassador, and then I was also on the um, the high tech dance team. So uh, so that's kind of like what I did while I was at Blacksburg. Yep. Yeah. And now I'm uh, now I'm actually in Northern Virginia, and uh, and I'm in pharmaceutical sales. So. Um, I'm so that is what I do for a living. Yeah, absolutely. Do you like your job? I do, actually. Okay. Yeah, I do. And I'm, I'm glad I had a, a couple minutes. Donna texted me, and I'm glad I had a couple minutes just to talk and connect with uh, some fellow Hokies. So thanks for reaching out. Thank you so much for calling in. We really appreciate it. Um, so you mentioned that you do farmer schools right now. Um, how's your, how has your, um, I guess, education from, education tech, from tech experience and, and work with PRISM, how has that helped you in your professional career? So great question. So while in PRISM, it's funny, but you don't realize how much PRISM and, and just Pamplin in general uh, really have helped just kind of give you real life experiences. And I know that kind of sounds very corny, but you don't realize while in school, all the responsibilities, um, how much they really translate into the real world and to real life. Um, so it's I would just here. say, I mean, the experiences, the opportunities, um, the connections, the friendships, the relationships, I mean, all of that, you know, besides a, a great education, right, that's first and foremost, right, first, but besides, besides that, I mean, I think just the things that I mentioned, like, you know, the opportunities and the relationships and the connections, I think that really has helped just prepare me for the real world and it doesn't have to be sales, it, it can be any job that you do and, and I think you just realize, wow, like, this is something that I'm used to, I'm comfortable with, and now it's not, you're not as, as uh, shell-shocked, you know, walking into the into your first day at work, you're like, all right, I, I've done this, I've had this experience. So, um, so I think that's kind of what it is. I think it's not just a great education, but I think it's an encompassing um, circle of, like I said, the experiences, the opportunities, and kind of everything that, uh, that makes you a Hokie. That's great awesome. to hear. That's I almost feel like that addresses one of students' biggest insecurities for sure. about the real world, is not knowing what it's like and not having the real world experience. Yeah. So it's good to hear yeah. that we're doing all the right things. Thank you for that affirmation. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So have you uh, participated in Giving Day yet? So I have not. So it started at what, 12 o'clock today? Yep, starting yes. at 12 noon. Okay, so no, I have not. I've been uh, I've been running all over the place. So I'm I. This is my first downtime. Um, but no, and it goes until tomorrow. Correct, twenty four sure hours. Does. You have plenty yes. of time, not yes. to worry. Okay, <laughs> perfect. So no, I have not, but I am planning on it. It's on my list of things to do by tonight. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. We're so, almost at seventeen thousand donations already, just for Pamplin. Oh my God! Oh, that is awesome. I know. Well, Isn't congratulations. And it's been you. what? In a, over an hour, a little over an hour. Yep. Or yeah, just over an hour, and we're already. Hitting this, the exact number is 16,554. So the, it's going well wow. so far. We intend to keep it that way. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. So, um, why do you donate on Giving Day? What does it mean to you? So, why do I donate? So, I think uh, it's the simple answer of, of uh, I know it's, it's giving back, but I also think it's kind of paying it forward, right? So, I think uh, I think what's, what's most important is, I, like I said, I had some awesome experiences while I was in school at Pamplin and Prism. I, I had some remarkable um, opportunities. And I think if, if, if you don't give back, or even if it's just the slightest of giving back, 
I think you're just helping future ho- Hokies by, by paying it forward. Um, and I think I know when I was in school, I had a bunch of alumni who had given and had given us the opportunities. And I think it's just important to, to continue that because I think that's what being a Hokie is all about. It's just continuing those traditions and making it a small community and, and embracing what everyone else kind of has done for you in the past. So that's what I give. I think just to, to pay it forward, to, to be a Hokie and to wear the maroon and orange proudly. That's awesome. I love awesome that perspective. Here. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, I guess our, our last quick question before we let you get back to work, is there anyone <laughs> you would like to give a shout out to? Is there anyone I want to give a shout out to? Well, I, I of course have to give a shout out to my brother. So my brother is a sophomore there at Virginia Aww. Tech. Um, so his name is Bobby Stewart. I actually think he has a test, I think, somewhat soon. Um, so <laughs> luck, he Bobby. is, yes, so good luck. So I have to give a shout-out to Bobby. So if he's listening, I don't know if he is. But if he's listening, go Hokies. I'm proud of him. He's doing really He's doing really well. And then, of course, i got to give a shout-out to Donna because she is Always. just a, an overall rock star and, um, and has significantly helped me and uh, in my experience with Virginia Tech. So those two people. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling in. We appreciate your call, and go Hokies. You're welcome. Yes, absolutely. Go Hokies. Good luck, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. Bye. That was awesome. That was nice of her. That, I, yeah, that was actually really great to hear that she felt prepared because I feel like that's what I'm concerned about. Sure. It's, it's also, like, exactly, it tells us what's the... Um, What's the purpose? Like, why are, why are we doing it? What is exactly yeah. going to help us with? And I love the paying it forward perspective. Yeah. You know, it's not just, you know, feeding in right now to your education, but it's for hopefully you want other people to come here and have the same experience as you, if not yeah. a better experience. And we're doing so much with the GBAC and Amazon. And, like, this program is expanding so rapidly. We have a lot of big plans here in Pamplin, and, and we definitely need everybody's help. Yeah. And so just a quick update on our... Uh, giving day totals were up to seventeen thousand seven twenty nine and forty cents. So thank you to everybody who's been donating. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. We're we're doing solid, yes. and and we have many more milestones still to still hit. Yeah. But thank you to everybody who has participated so far, and thank you to everybody who's still intending to do so. That was awesome. Now, so, oh sorry, not I hit yet, my mic. Sorry. <laughs> sorry if that hurt anyone's ears. We still have we have two more phone interviews periodically throughout the day. The next one's at about one forty five, and the last one should be at about two fifteen. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. And so right now, I think we're ready to move into our, our next bit. We're ready to do what am I eating? I'm so excited. I'm hungry. So to preface this bit, we had our team <laughs> go around this morning to get various dishes from Virginia Tech dining halls. Um, I'm so excited. And they have various food that they're going to bring to us. And we're going to be blindfolded and we're going to eat it on the show. And we'll see if we have to guess what we're eating. So the bit is called, What Am I Eating? We're going to go ahead and blind our, blindfold ourselves now. You ready? Yep. Okay. Chris, you guys have all those dishes ready over there? I'm definitely right. just going to get all of my hair in this knot here, but... So I confirmed can't see at all? Yeah, I can't see. I feel a little bit vulnerable. I was additionally worried that I was going to be, I was going to have to like, be able to see and have to like close my eyes, but I can just, I can't see anything. I can't see. Well, Alright, so we are ready for our first dish. I mean, my eyes are closed on it. Is it being brung to us? You can't uh, tell. Brought? It sounds like it. <laughs> brung. Alright. It's a dish in front of you, but Alex is going to hand you forks. Fork for you. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Can I, am, someone guide my hand? Is it on a plate? So, it's right here. Okay. It's a little flimsy. Okay. Wait. You got it's right it? There. Oh, that's the plate? Yep. Okay, you got to find it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what It feels it smushy. <laughs> Do I have any on my Do I have a bite? <laughs> do I have a bite? Yes. We do? Okay. It's cold. <laughs> Wait. Ugh. Why do I not know what that is? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like it tastes like mashed potatoes. It t- No, it tastes like... I know this taste, but I just don't re- it's, remember. It's pickle. It's like it's a it's a pickle nope. flavor. Nope. It's pickle flavored something. Nope. Um, what are you thinking? What are you thinking Mashed right potatoes. now? Mashed potatoes. You think? I mean, okay, what from? what else has that texture? Um, maybe grits. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe it is grits. It's too. Oh, it's it's they're too, they're too sweet from for mashed potatoes. I know. I'm thinking it's like really heavily spiced. Yeah. 
Um, I could see grits, but I don't think it's gritty enough. Do they sell grits here at Virginia Tech? I think so. Somewhere. At the at Turner. Okay. I don't want to take another bite because I didn't like it. Um, um, my eyes are starting to water. What do, what do, <laughs> so are we going with mashed potatoes? I'm going with mashed potatoes. I think grits is a good guess too. I'm going to poke it. Let's see. <laughs> poke it with your finger? Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Was it served cold? Yes. It was. Okay. Oh. So it's not mashed potatoes. So it's not mashed potatoes. Yeah. Uh, but aren't grits hot? Grits are hot too. We just hit a hundred donors. I'm, I'm hearing word that we just hit a hundred donors. <laughs> my sight, my, my senses are heightened. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, well so I it's give not up. Grit. It's not mashed potatoes. So maybe grits. Grits is warm too. Yeah. Frick. I don't like it, so I'm not gonna taste it again. Is it a, I didn't is it like mind a vegetable? Cranes okay. leeks. Uh, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. Um, Wait, give us a hint. What? Which dining hall is it from? Wait, I'm gonna feel the packaging. It's like, uh, oh, I really don't like Owens? it. Oh, this is from Owens? What the oh, frick did you what? give us? <laughs> no. I have no idea. I have no idea. Is it? I need a final answer. Uh, what does DX have this year? They have everything. <laughs> um, Are you sure you weren't supposed to heat it up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't is know. It, Mashed potatoes. Is it like, is it a parfait? Does this taste like a no, parfait? No, maybe it's a bad parfait. I don't know. <laughs> Absolute worst. I, I liked it. I thought it was okay. I'm going to go with... I don't love the garlic in it, though. I'm going to go with... Is that... Oh, it's garlic. That's what it is. It tastes like pizza mashed potatoes. It does taste like pizza mashed potatoes. All right. I think it's mashed potatoes. I'm going to go with uh, grits. Okay. The correct answer is hummus. Oh, oh no wonder I didn't like it. Oh, oh. I love it. Oh. It's not there. <laughs> they took it away. Okay. I didn't like that at all. That did not taste like normal hummus. Ugh. I bet it, oh, you know what? I don't eat garlic hummus because I don't really like garlic. I bet yeah. it was like a garlic hummus. I didn't like it at all. I'm not, that was okay. a good one, That was a Chris. good one, thank you. Because <laughs> I, I never just like fork hummus. <laughs> yeah, can I put the fork down? Are they here? I don't know. <laughs> hummus. All right, second dish. Forks? Second dish, bring your forks out, please. Yeah. Okay, put it in the middle. Another thing with a fork? Yeah. Good luck, guys. Okay. Oh, oh, this is a big piece. Oh. <laughs> Do you need a knife? It's also cold. Oh, this is like cold chicken, isn't it? Oh, how was tofu? Do you have a bite? Tofu. Nice try, everyone. Is it tofu? Yeah. I'm not eating it, though. Try it. <laughs> Do I have a big... I can't... Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. I got it. Nice. Try it. I've never had tofu cut like this, though. I don't like that either. <laughs> you guys are bad at picking dishes right? that taste good. Was I correct? Uh, <laughs> I ate a lot of tofu. I don't want to tofu. eat any more of that. <laughs> Do I need my fork or am I done? We are done with the fork. Thank goodness. All right. I kind of use my hand. We should have we should have prefaced by saying, like, Chris, you should have gotten dishes that taste good. Like, you should have gotten, no, like, mozzarella like sticks tofu. or french fries or something. I like tofu. <clears throat> that Ooh. one wasn't, like, marinated Do I have water? I have water here somewhere, don't I? I wouldn't, I don't know. Found That's it. a little risky. Found it. <laughs> okay, what's next? Yeah. Didn't like the tofu or the hummus. I like this. I kind of feel like a uh, like a queen. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> <coughs> Ugh. Do you like tofu? Yeah, I love tofu. I mean really? like I usually put sauces on it and stuff. Okay. That tofu tasted a little weirder than normal, like yeah, plain sorry, tofu. Guys, sorry, sorry. Right. Your main course this now. one, you each be tasting something different. Oh, oh okay. 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 We're done with the we're done with the the done forks. With, yeah. Okay. okay. This is so, all hands. To give you guys a hint, Ben, you have a to carrot guess. and celery. Who's going to eat them together? <laughs> all right, Ben, you have to guess what what dining hall that is from. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's a Mine's chicken tender. DX. Mm. With the hummus. It's a good chicken tender. <laughs> okay, so that's West End or DX. I felt that carrot. <laughs> I don't want this carrot. Here, I brought you a carrot candle. Oh my god, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. I can't tell if it's hoagie planks, 
from Fighting God. Oh, is that what hokey planks are? I've yeah, never known. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused. Or if it's. I would keep eating this, but I want to spare you all the crunching noise. I just dropped some. That's embarrassing. We'll eat it later. <laughs> I think these are from. D no, hokey planks are crunchier. These are like moist, which means they were sitting in that bag of the tin foil. Oh, yeah. So DX is your final guest. Those are the chicken tenders from uh, na, 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 from na, na, DX. Na. Yes. Yay! Ding. I'm taking away your napkins now. Thank you. Okay. Is that it? We have one more. Heck yeah. Okay. Give me a dessert. Uh, yeah, I hope I would love dessert. I almost, I almost changed my answer at the last minute, but I, really? I, I can, you can feel Stay it there confident. from DX, yep. I knew right as I felt it. All right, here's the last one. They are two separate items, but you have to, we're gonna, the way we hand it to you. Okay, I'm, I won't shout it out. Hold it like that. Bite. Take a big bite. And you have to hold, you, you have to. Oh. <laughs> you have to, you have to, eat both, you have to eat both of them together. Yeah, at one time. Both of them together, and you have to tell us what they are. It's a gluten-free muffin. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> you had to go down a little bit, Ben. You missed the other thing. Is there something in it? There's a, there's a second part. Oh, there's two things. Okay. Gluten-free brownie and gluten-free muffin from Owens. Am I right? I mean, it's a muffin and a brownie. I don't know the difference between gluten, because I can eat gluten. The Zanjiro's are confident. Do we have the same one? I just know Owens is like the only place you can get gluten-free desserts. We have the same one, okay. So it's a gluten-free muffin and a gluten-free brownie from Owens. That's our final answer? Am I right? Yes. Nice. Well done. I'm so happy now, because now I have can both. Can I eat it? Yeah, now I have, now I have snacks. You guys can keep it if you want. I will. I just want to make sure I put it on the napkin. Oh. You can just take this off now. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Woo! That was fun. <laughs> Look at ourselves. Ugh. <laughs> Man, it's so bright in here. I'd forgotten. Okay, We're in so the we middle have... of class change I doing know. that. <laughs> Nobody said that. That's funny. <laughs> but in time, thank you, Chris. That was awesome. That was really good. The thank hummus. You. The hummus. That was a good one. I. It was like cold. The hummus was gross. It was too garlicky for it me. It was very, very garlicky. I don't eat hummus normally, so I wouldn't have been able to like identify it. I do, which okay. is weird why I didn't, but I guess I never get garlic hummus. Sure. And it was very garlicky. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, after that was the the tofu. I've never had tofu before. I'm very Where'd glad. Where'd you get the tofu? Where'd you get the tofu? Turner. Oh. Uh, okay. He just asked for like raw tofu, just like plain. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yuck. It has a very distinguishing texture. The texture, I mean, it kind of like tasted like chicken a little bit, but not enough to keep eating it, you know? I don't know, I, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I'm gonna share this napkin. Yeah, smart. Yeah, that was good, thank you. We're, uh, we're, gonna, we're still hungry, yeah, so we're gonna leave this here. Don't take this. Yeah. <laughs> I made, I made a big so old mess. I'm so happy you got those. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Sorry for making you run around with my dietary <laughs> restriction. So, you, what, are, what is everything that you're allergic to? Is it just gluten? I'm allergic to dairy, and I have a gluten intolerance. Okay. Because sometimes people get mad when I say it's an allergy, because that's just easier to say. Sure. Just be like, oh, I'm allergic to both. But it's <laughs> technically an intolerance. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know I was allergic until, to dairy until last summer. Really? Like the summer before my sophomore year. <laughs> the doctor called me, and they were like, all right, so blood tests look good. You're allergic to dairy, Love and it. you're anemic. And I was like, what the heck? Congratulations. Yeah. That's a busy summer for you. Yeah. Oh, the chicken was good. Thank you for that one. Is there more of that? Can I have some more of that? You guys are eating, eating it over it. there? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have another one? Yeah, I'll take that one. Perfect. It's just a mukbang now. <laughs> yeah, I want it. Seriously. <laughs> I'm starving. I didn't eat breakfast. Thank you. Chicken mm. nuggets for breakfast. Mm. You didn't get them any vegetables, Chris. Well, you tried. Was that you who I... put the carrot in my hand? Yeah. I specifically asked Chris to get vegetables for you, which I lied to you about earlier. Can do it to him. Thank you for not. I'm um, glad you didn't. Mm. I was hoping you would take a bite of the carrot. 
Well, I can identify carrots, but. Yeah. I knew right away. If it had been like on a fork. Mmm. Because like mm. if you didn't tell that vegetables are vegetables. Yeah. So next time, if you want to trick me. Very mm. smart. Okay. What's we, next? I'm so distracted know, with all the food. All I'm like, <laughs> I'm so casual now. Yeah. After mm. that, I've, the, the wall has certainly come down. Ooh. All right. That's done. Um, we should have. Yeah. All right, I'm done. Sorry, I was chilling. We're like phase. Yeah. Can someone text Aaron? Can someone text Aaron? So we have some people who have agreed to play a game <clears throat> called Donate or Dare. Uh, we'll save the rest of it until they're here. We're still trying to organize them getting here. Um, but if you want to come play Donate or Dare, come on down. We are accepting applications, people who want to play We're Donate or Dare. We're not gonna, you don't have to apply. Yeah, you just gotta show up, that's it. But Donate or Dare, essentially, it's to, to increase more donations and also have some fun. Um, so hopefully we will... It's like equally for the donations as it is just our pleasure. Yeah. It's, and it, hopefully it'll be, your it'll be viewing pleasure. Us, so hopefully it'll yeah. be funny. Uh, so we're waiting for some of our Donator Dare people to come by. And essentially we're going to present them with a dare. They're either going to do the dare or they're going to participate in Giving Day and donate. Um, and we'll see what they choose in, in a little bit. Uh, another few things that we have coming up. We still have uh, two more phone interviews to come. And those are coming up. We have the first one in about nine minutes and the second of which will be closer to two. Uh, so stay tuned for those. We have some awesome alumni calling in for, for quick interviews. And then, if we, I mean, if we go through everything and we're sitting at about two o'clock, we can probably just, are you still eating? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I don't know, I'm losing my voice already. Really? Yeah. Guess we know who's stronger than the other. <laughs> well, we both tied in, in are you smarter than a fifth grader? But Chris, can you get more are you smarter than a fifth grader questions? Those are fun. Yeah. Just get out of that Quizlet. I just pulled up a few. I just want to like, not for right now, unless you haven't pulled up. Let's do it. We'll give you a second to pull them up. We'll, we're, we're still digesting our, our lunch, our lunch break. I'm still eating. Yeah. <laughs> the brownie was, so, those are, these are gluten free. Yeah. See, they're a little bit drier, a little bit grittier, sure. typically. Okay. Yeah, that's, they're not bad. Yeah, like especially like the muffin, you can. Um, I mean, if you hadn't told me that they were gluten free, I wouldn't have guessed They're it. good versions of it, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm sure there's worse versions. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Everyone like everyone now that's gluten free. Yeah. You guys got all the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> when Back I started cool. going gluten free in middle school, everything was like sand and it just fell apart. And so now all these restaurants, like one of my roommates just went gluten free. Yeah. And she's like, This is great. You can't even tell the difference. And I was like, Didn't always used to be that way. <laughs> did not. Like you are spoiled right yeah. now. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Chris, do you have more questions? Oh dear, well, let's get them going. So, I mean, so, you can just come stand with us. Well, can, they won't be able to hear. Yeah. Here, grab your mic. You should grab a mic just in oh. case. <laughs> you can just hold it. <clears throat> I feel like I've been coughing a lot. Mm. Finally, I'm over my like coughing fits, which is good. I haven't noticed it though. So right now the score for Are You Smarter Than Fifth Grader is two to two. Um, you and I are tied. We're, we're bringing this back just because it was fun. Oh, there's still been a tofu. Ew. That was my nibble. That was my bite. That's how big of a bite I took. you spit it out? I, I finished it, so I, I just took one that size. <laughs> it was funny. Really? I, like, ate more. <laughs> Did you? You just kept going? <clears throat> All right, Chris, you ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Is this just one more question to decide? No, or just going. Keep, okay. This would technically be question number eight. Okay. True or false? Fiction books are not assigned numbers in the Dewey Decimal System. Sorry, what did, I couldn't hear. True or false, okay. are fiction books assigned Dewey Decimal, number, Dewey Decimal Numbers? True. I'm gonna go true. True. All right, both got it. I just guessed, I had no I idea. I didn't realize how hungry I was. Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> I should've brought more chicken. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Earth is over, or okay, true or false, Earth is over 50 million miles from the sun. Over 50 million? Yeah, true, true. over. True. All right. See, those are way easier than the ones you had earlier. Are they the same source? Mm -hmm. I, got, I got the best of the best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did. Okay. <clears throat> did the Middle Ages come before or after the Roman Empire? After. After. 
All right. Warriors a lot. Don't mess with me. <laughs> I just guessed. Yeah. That's what, what is the name? Or, okay. What is the name of the largest bone in your body? The oh, femur. femur. We talked about this yesterday. True. Is that one of them? Yes, true. I'm gonna let your mic a little bit closer. There you go. We're doing so much better now. We should have started with these. Yeah, my confidence is soaring. Yeah. Uh, is zero an integer? No. No, it's not. Sorry, what? Is zero an integer? No. It is. What? I was just copying you. Well, don't do that. <laughs> according according to this quiz. Okay. Well, it's good. Yeah, right. there's, there's like, you know in BIT, how they have all those different yes. levels of numbers? Yeah. Levels, levels of data? All right, guys. We'll come back to this. Thank you, Chris. Right. We have our we have our first donator right, dare. Oh, don't click your pen. Sorry. <laughs> we have our first donator dare. So Hello. Do you have a mic? Uh, Can we get the mic one. over yep. here? Do you got the so, mic? donator dare. You have the option, Aaron. You want to oh. stand up here? Yeah. In front. Yeah. You stand in front. <laughs> that works. All right. So, our lovely volunteer, Aaron. You have the option of either donating to Giving Day. Okay. Or. Accepting a dare. I'll take the dare. Dare, okay. Yeah. So what should the dare, dare be? The dare that we have picked out for you is you chug. chug this thing of milk. That looks miserable. I told him to get whole milk. <laughs> I got you low milk. Uh, yeah, whole milk would have been worse. I, I, appreciate, I appreciate you making it a yeah. little bit lighter on me. Or at least give it your best shot. Oh, do I wear this? You don't have to. It's up to you. Okay. We can just hold it. Can hold also, it that you. thing fell off. <laughs> yeah. But, okay. That's big. Yeah, yeah. it's not That's, a half This half. would last me like a long time. We wanted yeah. to get you the half gallon. That would have been so messed up. All right, ready? Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna so have to like, up. there's a top, you're gonna have to take the circle yeah. off. Oh God. At we also I have another. Take it's going for the milk. I might decide halfway through to, to, to donate. donate. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, if you wanna play Donate or Dare, you can be on our podcast on the show. Pamplin's thing, you gotta do it. I'll do it, I'll do it. It'll be really quick. We can make it real quick. Somebody wants to chug this for me. That's cool. That'd be all right. All right, here we go, All right. Here we go. Take your time. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like you're almost done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He looks like he's going to cry. As much as you can. <laughs> You don't have to finish. <laughs> Did he finish? Almost. There's like that much left. Oh god. Wow. Claps all around. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> that was really cold. Yeah, it's, it's been in the fridge. You could have warmed it up a little bit. Nah. We thought oh. that would be worse. Thank you oh, for playing our game. So gross. Still consider donating on Giving Day. Oh, I'll throw about it. <laughs> you can finish that. It would be good with. Yeah. Oh god. Thank, Thank you, Aaron. Aaron. You and rock. you'll be donating later too, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He said yeah, sure. He said yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I also good. think we have one more person have that wants one? to play our game. Oh, god. Elena. Oh man. <laughs> Elena. Finished, do you want to play? <laughs> Donate or share? That was fantastic. I can't believe that he did that. That was disgusting. That was Hi, disgusting. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. We have State another name person. And major. Yeah. Um, Elena Clark. I'm a marketing major. What year are you? I'm a senior, so right. I'll be graduating we'll in just graduate. two months. Ah, so I today, know. the competition is Donate or Dare. Donate or Dare, okay. So we're challenging you to either participate in Giving Day, donate, or do one of our wonderful dares. You saw the last dare. The last dare was chug that thing I of milk. I did. Oh my they're not gosh. all that bad, so if you want to come out, they're not Yeah, they're all not all that bad. <laughs> you did. You did get the yeah. first one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll try a dare. Card. Why not? A dare? Okay. okay. This is good. Okay. So you want to do this one? Uh, this, this one? Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm nervous. What? Oh, it's this. It's this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're a dare. So you have to yell. The atrium is behind us. You have to yell into the atrium your whole schedule for the day. My whole schedule. Yeah. Like whole classes schedule. I already yeah. did. Classes you already did. Okay. Do I do I say the time or just yeah. the name yeah. of yeah. it? Yeah. Here, come Professor. behind us. Yell it out to the atrium. Behind. Okay. Don't yell into yeah. the mic. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll hold the Don't mic a little. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. So yell it to the atrium. Let everyone hear you. Okay. Whenever All you're right. ready. Do I say beginning and end time of my classes? Yes. Whenever you want. Maybe stand in between us. So okay, in between. And then pull the mic probably like. Yeah, I won't yell into the mic. I'm very yeah. loud. I'll hold it. For um, you. So yell it to the atrium. There you go. Whenever you're you ready. Got it. Just turn around and okay. go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, 
You know, I'm a loud person. That was a good. You guys picked a good one for me. Is Um, that it? Am I good? Do you think you're still gonna donate? Yeah, I'll still donate. Love Virginia Tech. It's Giving Day. Why not? Go Hokies! Hilarious. Thank you, Elena. Thank you so much. And perfect timing. Perfect timing. We have our next call. (laughs) That worked out perfectly, actually. All right, so we're gonna accept this call. Here we go. Unplug it back in. Yeah. Hi. We're trying to figure out some technical things real quick. (laughs) Can you hear us? Okay. I can hear you. All Great. right, awesome. Live. Thank you so much for calling. You're on the Our Voice podcast live in the atrium for Giving Day. Who am I speaking with today? You've got Matt Arden. Matt Arden. Can you say the last name again? Uh, Arden, A-R-D-E-N. Arden. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Matt, for taking our call. It's, uh, sure. We're absolutely stoked to have you on the show. And we just have a quick little interview for you. We'll let you get back to your work day. We recognize it's, it's Tuesday and most people have work. Um, so first yeah. off, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who, who are you? Uh, I'm a graduate of Virginia Tech uh, from 1999, grew up in uh, Northern Virginia, and now live in New York City and work in media. Uh, and I've been on the creative side of the business for the last 20 years. Wow. Do you like it? Yeah, what's not to like? Yeah, All I right. play for a living. It's a good time. <laughs> exactly. So what was your major when you were at Virginia Tech? Uh, I was actually uh, IDSC, which no longer exists, but is interdisciplinary studies. So I got to work across multiple colleges, uh, took some classes in Pamplin, took some classes in the communication school. It was a, or, you know, cool. a uh, liberal arts school, but yeah, it was a little all over the place. Awesome. So you said you graduated yeah. in 1999, correct? I'm just, yeah, I did. Yep. Okay. I imagine Virginia Tech has changed a little bit since then. Uh, well, it's, not too, <laughs> it's not too far away. Um, uh, it's it's pretty far. Yeah. Well, okay. What was your uh, what was your favorite? <laughs> we part? We didn't say it. Yeah, you, you said it, not us. What was your yeah, favorite sorry. part about Virginia Tech when you were here? I think just you know uh, how everyone bought in. You know, I've got like I mean, it sounds silly, but I have a you know pro some tattoo on my arm. Like I think people really did and, and continue to uh, hopefully buy into the uh, not just the football games and the parties and all the things that come along with college and being young, but you know, truly the messages and, and, and sort of uh, that moral fiber that was embedded in me at Virginia Tech about uh, service and using my education for good and, and using what I've learned there to try to better the environment I go to next. I think that, you know, I really took a, a lot of pride in that and I think that my, you know, my fellow classmates did too and I see it continuing since I've left. That's awesome. I Glad love that. That's great. Tell me, do you want to guess how much has been donated to Pamplin so far? We're going on almost two hours of giving day being open. I got to be honest, I've been stuck in meetings all day, and I'm going to leave this call yeah. to go to another meeting, so I don't even have any clue no. what that number could be. Is it's it, what is it? Ballpark. Uh, how much? Two hours of giving? Yeah. yeah. Uh, $32,000. Close. So, Close. I mean, so we're at 20845 and 52 cents. So we are okay. we are rolling well. We are only two hours in, and we're going strong. So, yeah. so, you're, so you're telling me I got to get off the phone and give some more money? Just about, yeah. I was actually just about to ask, have you <laughs> donated yet? Uh, I'm okay. not. I'm doing it uh, in my next meeting. Don't tell any of my fellow. Okay. I certainly won't tell them. That's great. Virginia Tech in total has raised over two hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars. That's great. So Good. why uh, why do you donate on Giving Day? I think that it's important as a student who uh, gained so much life value out of being a student at Virginia Tech that, um, look, it goes back to you prosum, right? You know, that I may serve. I've, I've been lucky enough to get an education that has allowed me to be successful in my career and that I think that there's something incredibly valuable about handing, you know, handing back down some help so that other students continue to walk out into the world as, as Hokies that can help the world as they continue to go forward. And so I think it plays into the whole you prosum concept is that you know giving is important and it's not always financial but on a day like today it, it does help to put a number on it because you know money does help us do the things we want to do and helps us grow and enrich the lives of students and, and professors and everybody who's connected to Virginia Tech. That's, that's a awesome. great that's a great explanation for it. It definitely is. It definitely gives you know I love tying in the Uprosum. Yeah that's that's really big. Thank you, thank you for that that answer. That answer was wonderful. Um, so just a couple last questions for you. So is there anyone that you would like to give a shout out to here at Virginia Tech or in the world beyond? <laughs> well, I will say that I'm very close with and, and uh, Donna Wordelick, I think that she's an amazing influence on the university and um, it's uh, been a, an honor and a privilege to serve on the MIMB, which is the Marketing uh, Industry Mentorship Board at Pamplin and um, I'm also a huge, huge fan of Bill Ross. I think what he is doing uh, at the university uh, K-12 
can't be measured or matched uh, by a traditional metric. I think his, his work and life experience is so valuable to students. And so I, I just really, really love what Anna and Bill are both doing for the university. And, you know, I think that, you know, I think that that's the direction education is taking, too, is, is professors of practice and people with expertise. Um, they have incredible uh, a wealth of knowledge to offer students. And so I just, I, just, I love those two. So, Matt, uh, one of the person, people that you just gave a shout-out to is actually right here in front of us. Go ahead and say hi, Donna. Woo-hoo-hoo! Thank you, Matt Arden, rock star. Love it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. Good to Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Thanks, Matt. She was just walking by, so yeah. I to say hi. Thank you for Arden. what you do, Donna. <laughs> Mr. Arden, thank you so much for taking our phone call. We'll let you get back to your work day and, and uh, have fun in that next meeting. And thank you so much for everything that you do and, and the Hokies yeah. Beyond graduation. So thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, and I love what you guys are doing. Go Hokies. Thank you, Mr. Arden. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All right. Perfect. How are we doing, Chris? <laughs> Can you look at the group chat? Thanks. <laughs> I tried the secret hand symbols, but they, yeah, they didn't, didn't work. work. That's okay. Nope. So I, that was awesome to hear that he worked a new prosum into his into his answer. That was really. I know. I love that. I that's honestly something I hadn't really thought considered, about. Considered, yeah. Yeah, bringing in. Yeah, I like. He it. has a who prosum tattoo. Yeah, which I mean, some people like take it like really seriously, and some people. Yeah, don't mean I've so seen much, hokey but... bird tattoos. Like my sister's physical therapist has mm -hmm. hokey birds. Yeah. Like feet tattooed. The people who like. Virginia Tech, love really, Virginia like love Tech. Virginia Tech. Yeah, yeah. like yes. everybody who goes here. I mean, you guys have seen we're rated one of the highest in you know satisfaction, retention, retention and, yeah, yeah. yeah. And happiness, happiness, student happiness, and stuff like that. Yeah, like these students would go here, something like that. Yeah. Those types of things. Which is awesome. Yeah, so, that was good to hear. Um, our next phone interview is in about twenty minutes. Um, hopefully, we can fill that time until then. Are you smart as a fifth grader? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> I want to get some people to play Donate or Dare. Does she want to play? Do you want to play Donate or Dare? Hi. <laughs> Two, Two minutes. minutes. Wow, we were really. Awesome. Yay. Okay, hi. Let's get right. it. Here's a mic. Welcome. Are you part of this? Okay. So, this is the Pamplin Presents. Or, oh, yeah, Pamplin Presents like Our Voice TV Podcast. No. No, no, no. Just, <laughs> Just the YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> no, you're good. There's eight viewers. Sure. <laughs> okay, so what's your name and what's your major? Hi, Paige. So, we're doing a fun little game. It's called Donate or Dare. Okay. Have you donated for Giving Day yet? No, not yet. Okay. okay. So, you have the option to either donate to Giving Day okay. or do a dare. Oh, I definitely want to donate. Donate? Yeah. Okay. Do you, you want to do a dare both? Also doing want to do a both? dare. What kind of dare are we talking? I think we should do that one. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's disruptive to the people around. Oh, no. No? Really? <laughs> That's okay. How about... Thank you for your donation, and thank you for presenting Giving Day. And if you want to do a dare, you have to go get five high fives in 15 seconds. We'll time you. We'll time you. You just go to last five people right over there. Yeah. Chris can be one. Okay, okay ready? ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Go. One. She got one. She's got two. two. <laughs> Would she get filmed? She's got three. Three. She's got four. four. She's got four. One, 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 one more. One more. I'm not timing it, really. Just don't tell her. Bye. Nailed it. <laughs> nice job. And you're still going to donate, right? Yeah. All Thank right. you, Paige. No, 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 no. no. just today. <laughs> okay. Thank Take you so much for yeah. playing. Yeah, thanks. Have a Do good you guys want to play Donate or Dare? Anybody want to play Donate or Dare? My phone's in. <laughs> thanks for playing. That was a good one. That was a good picture. Yeah. yeah, thanks. That was fun. Donate or Dare is Do you want to play our game Donate or Dare? <laughs> we just have to solicit the people walking by. <laughs> the, the whole podcast is such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> we ignored. Do you want to play Donate or Dare? <laughs> yeah. Do you guys want to play our game Donate or Dare? I'm okay. Okay. Make sure you give on Giving Day. Yes. I know you want to play our game. I know. Yeah, you want to play Donator Dare? Yes, do it, please. Play what? Okay. Donator Dare? You want to play Donator Dare? Yeah. For Giving it's Day? It's real fun. Okay, so for Giving Day, we're here in the atrium, and it's Giving Day, so people are, want to give back to their school. We're challenging everybody to either give the donation, donate, or do a dare. You down? I don't have any money on it. Looks like you're doing a dare. Dare time. <laughs> All right. All right, so uh, we dare you to... Um, how much time do you have? Uh, I got like an hour. Oh, jeez, oh, okay. <laughs> um, we dare you to go and plank on the atrium floor. No, 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 on one of the tables. <laughs> Ooh, on one of the tables in the atrium. Do you know what planking is? Yeah. Yeah. So, like so that, that one do down that. there? And can we cut to the atrium camera? Yeah, sure. All right, All right cool. We're cutting to the camera. And just so you know, if you do want to donate, just go to. You can do both, yeah. yeah <laughs> online. All right, can I use my bag here? Yeah, yeah. Take your time. All right, we're, we're going to We're switching to the atrium, atrium camera. camera right now. We're going to watch you probably. 
Uh, let's do 10 seconds. Yeah, and honestly, let's do it on that, that brown table. The main brown table down there. Main brown table. The big one with all the pizza. Accommodate him. That one? Yeah, that's, don't worry, those are our people. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for him to actually do this. Yeah, you are. We have a dare coming down to you. <laughs> it's switched, right? What a good sport. I know. <laughs> so he's going around. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Here he goes. They have no idea. <laughs> Here he goes. All right, he's going down the stairs. <laughs> He's at the bottom of the stairs. He's coming in. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> coming in hot. He, he's walking with such authority. Oh, there he oh is. Oh my goodness. There he is. <laughs> he's really positioning himself. They don't he's know why in. they're on camera. Just go for it. Go right in between them. He's <laughs> 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 sitting there all waving. They're, they're all just like sitting there waving. They have no idea why. They're cleaning it off. <laughs> Man, this is a production. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great plank. Six, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. All right. Very nice. Very good sport. Yeah. I like how everyone was like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> That's great. He's going to come up his backpack. Great. When he comes up, we got to make sure we thank him and, and yes, get his name in major. for sure. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I love how some people are just super down and some people are like, oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> or they're just like... Well, what would you on. do if you were walking through the atrium and they were like, hey, donate or dare? Depends on my mood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're in, you're in a exciting mood. Yeah, sure. Okay. The yelling one was a bit... I don't think I could do that. Yeah. But I would totally do something just silent and disruptive. On the show. Okay. All right, I think he's coming back. He's up. coming back up. Who's got to? We've got his backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Here he comes. We gave him a T-shirt. Nice. What a good sport. Oh, God. <laughs> that was nice of them. Cooperation. Cooperation. Yep. Oh, he's he's got. He's, he's, he's talking. He's gotten pulled aside by the management department. <laughs> well, when he gets here, we're gonna make sure to get his name major yes. and all that good stuff. What a good sport. Man, everybody, right. Everybody's doing these dares has just been like super into him. Like this, like Aaron drinking the milk. He chugged that. He did it like it was like a challenge to see how fast he could do it. Yeah. He like that and was Elena so much milk. was so loud. Yeah. <laughs> she, and that was like long. I would have been like, uh, yeah, one okay. class. <laughs> I only have one class today, sorry. Yeah, sure. That was so funny. That was I was perfect. crying. That's exactly what I need. Cause like, I don't, I don't know if you noticed the whole atrium went silent. Yeah, it was, that was me. Well, that made it so funny. Yeah. Good for her. I know. Ron, Ron, our wonderful management teacher, Ron Poff, stopped him on his way over to get his backpack. So oh, he's, we've got some time. <clears throat> Chris, uh, can you come up here for a second? We just got to talk. You're mic'd. I know. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so <laughs> can you ask that gentleman in the sweater and the button-up if he wants to be on the show to talk about what he's doing over there? He's a professor. Yeah, his name is Professor Poff. Yeah. That is so cute. <clears throat> Do you want to play our game? I actually should some advice. Okay, it's only two minutes. <laughs> Have fun at your meeting. Get all your questions. Thank you. Info. You're such a good sport. Do you want to say your name in major? Huh? Do I put your, you name, your name in major on the show? Camera right there. Camera out. Jake Duvall, finance. Thank you, Jake. Awesome. Thank Have you a wonderful so afternoon. Much. Thank you for being such a good sport. And make sure you give on donate on yes. give it anyway, just in case. Yeah. Just in case. If you want to watch that, it's on Virginia Texans uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So it looks like we have coming over onto we the screen. We have another participant. We have not necessarily a participant, but oh. another guest. So oh. I thought we're he was have, doing the dare. Yeah, we're going to have Mr. Ron Poff, who is a professor here at Virginia Tech. He teaches my per personal um, entrepreneurship class. He's an awesome resource. He's, he's also here in the atrium. He's got his own event, so he's going to come on and, and talk about that. And we're going to ask him a few questions. So Mr. Poff, thank you hey, for coming man, on. Good to see you. This is Kendall. Welcome. I'm Kendall. Nice. Yes. We're glad you guys are here. We're glad yes. to be here. We're having fun so far. Have you seen some of the dares that we've been doing? No, like you were eating something. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so we were playing uh, What Am I Eating? So we had Chris go around and buy a bunch of dishes from dining halls. Right. And just we were blindfolded trying to guess what we were eating. And who won? <sighs> Probably Kendall. She Kendall. Really good job, Kendall. Nice well, she's work. She's much more like, exotic at trying foods. I'm pretty... <laughs> well, I just... It's called courage. I can only yeah. eat certain foods, and so they, they pretty much have, like... They got all the stuff I've already tried. Sure. Oh, yeah. wow. So we just want to give you the opportunity to kind of sense your events a little bit over. If you just want to turn and talk to the camera a little bit sure. about what your event was today. Yeah, so what we did, we had kind of a showcase of management. 
uh, the Department of Management about the programs. Uh, we had our students here talking about what, why did they choose management, uh, both from an academic standpoint and obviously from a professional and internship as well. So it was a great day to be in the atrium. And I just I talked well. to one of them. Well, did you? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think? It was great. I mean, I, I considered being a management marketing double major, so right. that might have to be a consideration again. Sure. Well, you know, in management, we think of you know management. What is that? Sure. Yeah. What's nice is we have three options, right? Entrepreneurship, innovation, and technology, of which Ben's a part of that yep. class. Um, and then you know we have uh, consulting and analytics. Mm -hmm. You know, so what what are you thinking about post career? And then human resources, right? Sure. Which is a whole other element of business and business leadership. So, there you go. Yeah. So it sounds like it was a pretty good event for you guys. Did you have a good turnout. We had an excellent turnout. You know, we had donuts and coffee. Have to it's kind of hard to turn to Come on, right? Now. It's like a magnet, Are right? Are the donuts gone? There's still a couple donuts. So I might <laughs> have to bring them over to you. You might. Right? You might. I mean, we could blindfold us. Right. So <laughs> yes, if you know Carol donut. Lee donuts, yeah, yes, right? They have a reputation. Right? Yes, they sure do. Yeah. The red by my my apartment actually. And I stopped there all oh, so the time. So you smell, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I could That's never cool. live next to those. I know. It's, it's so. It's like. <laughs> but the I think I am next year, actually. Especially so on like many. weekends, I'll just like driving by and like stop and get donuts, and I do, and then <laughs> that's right. a normal thing. For yeah, me. like so, right? I I guess I have to explain myself. Like I have my eating restrictions, yes. but donuts don't apply. Oh, they nice. just don't. They don't, that, apply. don't let that undermine my credibility. Well, we're there, <laughs> but we're they there. just don't apply. So you know what's exciting too? Uh, this Saturday, the atrium will be wide open. I'll have to get really? you a donut. Yeah, we're going to be wide <laughs> open on this Saturday. We're <laughs> inviting our high school juniors. Oh, right, okay. so it's open house. Local or from all over? All over, actually, wow. all over the country, Anywhere. right? Yeah. yeah, so all the different majors will be represented awesome. here uh, on Saturday. Yeah. And we'll be back uh, at the Department of Management. Another well. Yeah, so if you're a prospective student and you're watching this, this Friday. Come by the atrium, Saturday. On oh, Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, sorry. Saturday, Saturday 1 to 3. Yeah. yeah, it's open. And it's nice because you can talk to all the different departments all yeah. at once. All at once. I you know, I family had members. Like that. Yeah. yeah. We so, weren't even in the business school until yeah. recently. <laughs> well, we're glad you're both here. As are we. Fantastic. Yeah, so are we. That's right. Um, so we're just going to play a quick game called uh, What Car Do You Drive? Are you willing to play this game? I'm, as long as you don't make fun of me. No, of course not. <laughs> so Kendall and I are going to ask you three questions okay. that are unrelated to your car. Okay. And then we're going to. Um, guess what kind of car you drive based on those questions. Nice. So three questions. Okay. Three questions. All so right. The first I'm question ready. that I want to ask is, um, do you have children? Yes, I do. Okay. How many? Three. Three. Great. Three okay. All right. My so question it's is. Not like a small, it may not be a small car. <laughs> well, I want to know how old they are. I have three large children. Right. Oh, they're older now. Are they they're older. older. Okay. I have a set of twins that are 20, okay. of which one is here at Virginia Tech. How there about you go. that? Wow. And then my oldest is 23. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it, he, he may have he, already he's gone past the family car. Probably. Yeah. Okay, my question for you is, what's your preferred mode of travel when you go on vacation? Are you an airport guy, train, or do you drive? Well, it depends on the destination, but okay. since I go to Hilton Head almost every year for yeah. vacation, I would say I'm a, I drive. Okay, okay. so he's I looking drive. for long-term comfort. Sure. So when you... Good gas mileage. Yeah. Right, it's good. <laughs> he's like, I should have considered Economical. All of this. <laughs> I need to take you all car shopping. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how long have you had this vehicle? I've had this vehicle uh, three years. Three years. Okay. okay. Three years you, upgraded. Recently. I'm gonna ask a fourth question. Do you yeah, buy it new or used? I usually buy new. Okay. okay. Yes. Smart. Okay. And I trade in, you know. Smart. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I bought a used car and it's a nightmare. Yeah, what we were it? talking yeah. about that. <laughs> and right. I, you know, keep, keep in mind my profession, right? Sales yeah. and marketing, right? So Perfect. I, yeah. yeah. All right, so I think we're both thinking the same thing. Let's just say his car on three. You ready? Uh, I don't know so what we I'm got. You ready? One, oh, okay. two, three. Lamborghini Gallardo. Oh yeah. You're, you, you know what? You're close, Ben. You're yeah, very close. I was actually thinking of Bentley. Bentley. Okay. He seems like a little bit more British classy than a Lamborghini. So right. it's a little flashy for him. I'm gonna go with a nice, reliable. See, so you've had it for three years. You bought new, so it's a 2015, 2016. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go what, with like, a. Let's settle on a brand first, maybe. Honda. Honda's reliable. Honda's very reliable. He's, it's Honda or Toyota. Close. You, you know, seem, Honda's I'm gonna, close. I'm going Volkswagen. You seem like a European car Volkswagen. guy. Okay. So he was close. He had the right continent, right? Yeah. The Lamborghini or the oh. Honda? No, the Honda. Oh. So Toyota. <laughs> okay. Toyota. Oh. Toyota. There you go. So this is my third Toyota since 07. People who have Toyotas are very loyal. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So as a marketing major, you have brand equity, <laughs> right? Brand yeah. loyalty. It all ties loyalty. back. It all ties back. <laughs> now, to back to business. I'm thinking sedan. Sedan. So yeah. probably a Camry. The 2015 Camry is actually really Ding, 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 ding. It's a Toyota Camry. My third Camry since 07, right? Good job. Oh, third Camry. Wow. Yeah, Camrys are nice. I wish I had a Camry. Think about demographics. Right. Plus the new yeah. Camrys, like the 2019 Camrys, are basically sports cars. Have yeah, you seen them? they look super They're nice. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. They really well, thank are. you for playing that game. Absolutely. We hope, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to for just in general? 
You know what? I'm going to give out a shout out to you two, right? This podcast, Our Voice. Come on. I just tweeted about you, too. But you and the entire prison team, and and I'm not just saying this. This is one of those situations where you didn't have to. You wanted to. Mm -hmm. So this is a program, right, for students. Students for students, right? There's no, you're you're not getting anything extra out Mm -hmm. of this. This is all about initiative and taking courage. So I give a shout out to the two of you. Well, thank you. How about thank that? Very much. that yes. fantastic? <laughs> Good job. Thank you for your time. And the entire <laughs> prison team. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you for your time. All we'll right. see you in class tomorrow. Yep. Okay, we'll see you there. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, Professor Pav, is, he's my entrepreneurship teacher. He's awesome. He's yeah, one of the most like engaging and, and helpful teachers that I've had. Course request is open. Yeah, so if you're looking for a class, he teaches um, the entrepreneurship class for the business leadership minor. And so um, if you're looking for a class, I strongly consider his entrepreneurship course. It's yeah. a lot of fun. And a lot of people in prison are in his next course. And he's been awesome, especially promoting our podcast. Like I asked him mm-hmm. to put on the podcast just the first day that came out, which was two weeks ago. And ever since then, he's just been without even, I don't even have to ask for it. He's more than willing to support, like, support the podcast and announce about it. So we're, yeah. we're very thankful for that and, and for everything that he does for the Panda That's great. Right. You want to get this side? Got to yeah. do dare. Hey, do you want to do uh, Donate or Dare? It's a fun game. <laughs> two minutes. No problem. Have a good one. I really try more than you. Yeah. Well, You're like, I'm oh, that's okay. great. And yeah. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah. Like, don't worry about I'll it. Have a good day. You. You're like, okay, but for real. It's only two minutes. That's but good. it worked last time. It did work. She said no, and then she said yes. So we're, we have about 10 minutes until my next phone call. You know, are you um, smart in the fifth grade? Yeah, let's get right back to it. We're right. tied. It's, I'm it's eat five, a little five. Bit more. Or sorry, six, six. Chris, you got some questions for us? I have a mic up here for you. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> I should get the milk cap. <laughs> I'll move the milk. All right. It's front and center. <laughs> now I'm going to knock that over. We have... Why is the cap not on it? Six more questions. Six more. Okay. Awesome. All right. So the score is 6-6. Six, six, and I think after this, we'll, we'll be good. All right. What is the name of the hardest tissue in the human body that covers the teeth? Enamel. Oh, yep. She beat me to it. Enamel. Okay. Okay. You so we're... hold the mic a little closer. Correct. So... Yeah, so um, I'm not gonna. If I was gonna say enamel, but since you did it before me, I'm just gonna give you a point. Okay. So the first person to get it right. It's like Jeopardy. Yeah. yeah, it's like Jeopardy. All right. How many states have the words North, South, East, or West in their name? Four, five. Five. Five, five is correct. Five. Yeah. The North, the Dakotas, the Carolinas, and West Virginia. Yeah, yep. it took me a little bit longer to count. <laughs> I, I, I almost said four. I almost forgot about West Virginia. Mm-hmm. I knew there was no East. Yeah. But. Okay, true or false, the Taj Mahal is an example of Garth, of Gothic architecture. False. false. What is it? Oh, what? Um, what is the type of Islamic. architecture? Islamic. Is it Islamic? Nice. Islam- Islam- Islamic Mongol architecture. Nice job. Thanks. I would've got that wrong. All right, number four. The explorer Juan Ponce de Leon gave <laughs> what U.S. state its name? Florida. I it was Florida. Yeah, Florida. Yeah. I got it before you. Oh, come on. I'll give you both. I'll give no, it's okay. Okay. Sure. Well, we're tied. 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Does everyone know I got it right? <laughs> what month... That's all I care about. What month comes last alphabetically? You have five seconds. November. September. Four, three, oh, September. Dang it. I forgot Correct. September. Nice you have five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Start counting down. Okay. The last... Qu- or second to last question. Sorry. There's actually seven questions. Yeah, good. Uh, comedy and tragedy are two kinds of plays developed by who? The Roman, or the Greeks. The Greeks. Greeks. Was it Greeks? Okay, I was gonna say Shakespeare, so. All right, so you're at 10, I'm at eight, so I can't win. Okay, for fun, we'll make this question worth three points. Let's do it, just cause. <laughs> so the first person to answer this one wins. wins. Okay. First, first person to get it right. Yeah. How many bones are in the human body? 162. 152, that's my guess. Um, 240. Well, both of you were wrong. Okay. I was closer. So, I'm going to say both of you were about equal distance away. Dang it. It's like 200? It's like 207. 203. 201. 198. 197. 203. Neither of us get a point. Kendall wins. What is it? <laughs> it's 206. Ah, it's 207. After like eight other guesses. I know. <laughs> like, oh, man. So, That's Kendall right. wins. Are you smarter than fifth grader? The ongoing points. show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we kind of just kept it going. We, we may bring that back. I enjoy that. I, I love it. I yeah. love trivia. Um, if you could do me a favor, Mr. Chris, and go downstairs and grab Bennett for uh, Donate or Dare, that would be awesome. Right. I know he said he wanted to do one, so we've got a good one picked out for him. Which one? Um, let's do...
You want to do this one? I would say either this one or that one. The jump to understand, man? Yeah, maybe. Do you think he would do it? No. <laughs> so while he's going to get him, uh, as I mentioned, we have one more phone call. If you're just tuning in. I was about to say, <laughs> let's do that. That's funny. If you're just tuning in, thank you. Welcome to the VT Panel Presents Our Voice live podcast today in the Atrium for Giving Day. We're getting towards the end of our show. We're, we have about 20 minutes left. We've uh, already raised. Less. Thirty thousand dollars. Six hundred and twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. Thirty thousand six hundred and twenty-five dollars, which is crazy because last time we told you all it was twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. So it is going up rapidly. Jim, yeah. do we have a live count for how many gifts we have? One hundred forty-six. All right. That's great. That's a good amount. That's great. We got five hundred and twenty-two last year for Pamplin. Yep. So, so we still have a way to go to beat our goal. Yeah. But, we're still, but we're still I think doing proportionally good. we're well on our way to exceeding yep. it. And then let's check the actual. I got um, it. The actual count is. Oh, it's going up so much. It's currently moving. <laughs> 271,529 with just over 1,400 donors. So we're doing well so he far. He didn't bring me a donut. That's okay. I'll get you a donut another time. All right, so we got Colby coming up. Nice. Oh, he's going to do. I'm a little bit sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About the donut? Yeah. <laughs> he, he was joking. He, he didn't. No, he said, I'll get you a donut. Okay. Well, we have that mic up here still? I don't know. All right. All right. If you we want to have help another him out with a microphone, and then we'll we'll get to it. The sun, we uh, the right, sun so we is pick... not the great best yeah, lighting. Yeah, gotta pick one for him. Um, this is someone else's. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that oh, guy. Yeah. That, no, so down there. Yeah, I don't think we can get that view. Okay. Uh oh. Can you please say your name and major to the camera? This camera, so we can stand in front yeah, of that one. Desk. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, I'm Colby Camelier, and I'm currently I'm a little out of it. Uh, I'm business undecided right now. Uh, right. Soon to be something else. There you go. Well, Great. good luck to you. Do you have a uh, think you know where you're headed? Not really. Yeah. I should be way way more into it. Don't worry about it. You'll figure it out. Um, so many options. Yeah, so today we, obviously you've agreed to play Donate or Dare. And so we are challenging you to either participate in Giving Day, donate, or do one of our fabulous dares. Which one are you taking? Uh, I'm going to do Dare. You're going to do a All Dare? Right. All right. Um, All right. You want to do this one? Can we get that view? How wide does this camera go? And how far down? Could we get, say, like the plaque wall down there? Like right next to it? Because if not, then we're going to have to change the dare. Yeah. All right, so we are daring you to go and listen to someone else's music. Earbuds. OK. So you just kind of walk up, grab their earbud. There's a gentleman in. down there on his laptop just in a orange sweater. Bit. You see him? Just take out one That's earbud. That's your target. Put it in. You can hold it can I tell him what I'm? I nope. can't tell him. If, All you right. can, if you can do it without asking, that's preferred. If you have to ask, so be it. No, no, don't ask. <laughs> we prefer if you don't ask. What if he like freaks out? That's what I'm saying. Just. Oh, he looks peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> He's not gonna fight you. Yeah. Okay. All right. You Keep the microphone. Yeah. No. No, no. no. Keep the microphone. We'll, we'll be filming you down yeah. there. So we've got eyes on Colby as he's going to go and attempt to do this dare. He's going to go do a dare, guys. If you want to get that on. Film. <laughs> He's he going to do a dare right shoot now. Shoot down there. There's a big like, bar in the yeah. way. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, great. Here he goes. All right. He's walking up to him. There he goes. He's in frame. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so he took out both his headphones. <laughs> Look, he's changing his music for him. <laughs> he's DJing for him. That's amazing. That's so funny. <laughs> he, he was, was so, so accommodating. I know, he was like, oh, yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, he was like, here, oh, here, take both. Yeah, Let me change both. my music. <laughs> I'll cue up a nice song for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Colby. <laughs> Thanks, Colby. That was good. Thank you. That was funny. That was awesome. That was funny. All right, I'm surprised. Like he, people, people are so willing to do these dares. You guys, people are so nice at tech. If you're a prospective student, the fact that like yeah. someone planked on a table and they cleared the table for him to plank. Oh, they're like, oh, please, by all means, let me move yes. all of my things for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to let him do it. Sure, here is my music. Yeah, that was funny. I, yeah. I appreciate everybody who's been participating Thank I you for being such good sports. Great. I wish I could make just like a video segment on like this type of, of stuff this. and just yeah. to show off how nice people at tech yeah. are. Like, like that guy. I'm sure he's been listening to us for a while and like has been. Probably annoyed by our other shenanigans. But oh yeah. Like, he was like, "Oh, here, I have both my headphones. I don't, I don't yeah. need them. I don't even need them. <laughs> take them. Take, take them. them. Listen to. Yeah. I'll, I'll cue up a good song for you. So yeah. Thank you for so to, him, to him for being a good sport. Uh, hopefully, we didn't ruin his day. 
and... Maybe we made it brighter. Maybe, yeah. So the only thing that we have left on tap is our last phone interview, which is going to happen any minute now. Um, we have one more person calling in, and she's awesome. I'll let her tell, her, tell you a little bit about herself. Um, but, yeah, so we just get to hang out until that call. Cool. I've, I've had a lot of fun doing this. Yeah, me too. I, I don't know if you can tell, my voice is much more hoarse now. Like, uh -huh. I've been talking a lot. Uh -huh. I've pretty much been talking for two straight hours. I will say it's gone faster than I thought it was going to. Oh, me too. I was really surprised when you said we had 20 minutes left. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, wow, we're, we're already almost 15. done. 15. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, that's we're getting down nuts. to it. I'm actually. I mean, I can talk for an hour. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was gonna make sure we have our last interview going. In. How does this make you feel about your, like, big aspiration of being a late night talk show host? I I almost like this platform. Better. I'm not gonna say I like it better. I don't. Okay. But I really really enjoy it. Like, if yeah. we can do both. Yeah. Maybe we can talk about doing that. But a late night I, talk show with tech. It's just like a live like talk show every like week or something mm -hmm. like that. I mean, we would have to throw it together way quicker um, because I. I will say again, the planning for this was massive. We we spent. That I mean, was him. it was. I mean, it was a lot of everyone. Like, thank you to Chris for everything that he's done and organizing all of our bits and, and the logistics of them. Again, yeah, huge thank you. Just being on call. Yeah, literally. Like, hey, Chris, can you bring me something? He yeah, does it. Thank you. Um, again, a huge thank you to Mr. Jim Dickens, the IT director here at Virginia Tech. He's been sitting here behind the computer, helping us this whole time, just making sure we to look good. To yeah. Us. As I mentioned, I, my plan was to just do like an iPhone 10 in a classroom. Yeah. And just be like live stream from my phone for like 30 minutes or something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and thanks to him and all of his equipment and his expertise, we've really been able to expand it into what it's become. It's we been, look so legit. That's what I'm saying. Like this, this look. I'm, I, we've we've had it up just to see what we look like and make sure we're not doing anything too dumb. But. Like we, our, our thing on YouTube, I'm extremely impressed with, and it was all thanks. Just the cart milk. <laughs> yeah, just the milk. <laughs> I'm gonna get that out of here. It's probably warm by now, but yeah. So again, huge thank you to Jim and all of his um, nice expertise story. and help and all of his crew. Um, so thank you to them. We could not do it without you. And again, yeah. thank you to my writers. They all went to class, um, except for Chris, our producer. But thank you to all of you guys. You guys rock. And then a, a general thank you to Prism. You know, they've been here in the atrium the whole day participating, laughing yeah. with us, pr helping promote us. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and so a, a big thank you to Prism. And then lastly, a big thank you to the Pamela College of Business for letting us do this. I mean, we... For allowing us to be so excited and, about a school to do it. Yeah, and, and for allowing, like, giving us a platform to, to do what we love and also have fun with it. So thank you, Pamplin, for letting us sit here in, in your atrium and, and disrupt some some of your business. Um, Blindfold, yeah, eat food. And we hope that Giving Day works out well for us. Um, we are exactly, we're now ex pretty much exactly at $31,000, at $31,052. You haven't so. donated yet, I urge you. I think we just reached our our max viewers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna disclose it. If you're just tuning in, thank you for joining us. We're, we're you're getting towards the end of the show, but again, we're gonna post this on YouTube, so if you wanna go back and watch it, you certainly can. I go encourage watch and watch it. Our dares. It's, yeah, it, it, it was fun. It, 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 hopefully, it's as fun for you watching as it is for us doing yeah. it. I've had a blast. Um, thank you, people who have been throwing things in the comments. Um, my, my friend, he's been, he's been putting comments trying to make me, trying to make me laugh, but um, we appreciate everybody for tuning in and for and for participating. So thank you to all of you. Thank you, Kendall, for joining me on this. I know it was. Thank you, Ben. Of course, it was it was kind of a high pressure. I was, as I mentioned, I was pretty nervous for it. Yeah. Like I did, I didn't sleep super great. I was like, what if I mess up? What if it doesn't go well? What if it's not funny? Like, and I th I think it worked out as good as it possibly could have. I agree. So I hopefully, agree. I'm 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 hoping we get to do it again. Um, maybe next year for Giving Day, just do it again. Yeah. Maybe we can find another way to do this because I. I don't know about, I mean, I've had a lot of fun with it. I think Jim has had a lot of fun with it, too. I think he, he's finally been able to, yeah, to do said, some yeah. like live production with all of his fancy equipment. And so um, maybe we can find a way to, to do it more often. Um, yeah, so I, I've, I've enjoyed it. I, it's been a good show. Um, I'm trying to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah. Before we get our last phone call, we just want to go ahead and give um, kind of like our conclusion. So as I mentioned, thank you to everybody watching. Thank you to everybody who's helped us with this project. It's been a massive undertaking. Um, it's not just me and Kendall up here. While it certainly literally looks like it right now, we have had at least 10 people behind the scenes this whole time helping us out. So thank you to all of them. Um, and that is that also applies to our podcast. So the podcast is the same way. It's, you know, it's Kendall Similar and I. People, yeah. yeah, it's Kendall and our voices, but it's a whole group. It's a whole team. So um, if you haven't heard about our podcast, make sure you check that out. That's going to be at pamplin.vt.edu backslash podcast. You'll be able to find links for our Spotify and iTunes. Someone um, commented cuties. <laughs> and then, um, so that's our website for for uh, the podcast, and that's going to have bios on all of us. It's going to have pictures of all of us Links. on the team. 
Um, and so check that out if, you're, if you want to. We appreciate it. Um, like you don't even have to put in any work to stalk us. You can just go to we make it easy for you. Yeah. Podcast. <laughs> and there you go. We've linked it all. Um, our final, uh, our pretty close to final update, we'll give you one more before we sign off, um, is 31235 and 52 cents, and that's only on two and a half hours of and that is Giving Day being live. And for Pamplin. The that's, yes, that's Greater Giving Day count is about 280,000, with a little over 150, or 1,500 donors. Donors. And again, that is the goal, is, is to maximize our donors. Um, so we're looking for the, the maximum number of donations. As we mentioned, the minimum is $5, and even that does, goes a long way. It helps a lot for everybody here at Pamplin. It helps a lot for Giving Day, and, and we really appreciate um, everybody who's been participating in that way. I feel like I'm talking too much. Like I, my throat is going to be killing me later today. That's what we're here for. It would have been bad if you were talking any less. Yeah. Um, Hoping this interview calls in soon. I hope so too. I mean, if not, I mean, she's literally at work, so if, if yeah. not, that's okay. I forget that adults work year round, every week. Every week, yeah. There's no spring break. There's, there's no. There's no summer. But yeah. then I also forget that you can just take a vacation like at any point. Whenever you want. Well, you know. Within reason, but yeah, yeah. like you have two weeks of vacation, <laughs> yep. and you can just decide to go on vacation. Like there's, you don't have to wait for spring break or wait for winter break or sure. for Thanksgiving. Anything like that. Yeah. Um, so like yeah. you have no summer. So do you have, unless you're a teacher. Do you have plans for summer yet? Like are you, are you, do you have any big trips planned or anything like that? I don't have any big trips. I'm hoping to go to Hawaii to visit some family. Oh, wow. That's a pretty big trip. It's to visit family. Okay. So, um, family in Hawaii. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. My uncle's in the Coast Guard. So okay. he's in charge of a ship over there. Wow. Very fun. Shout out to Uncle Tony. Go Tony. Yes. So yeah, he's over there. I'm hoping we're hoping to do that. We always have big ho big hopes and dreams for summer. We always do, yes. Who, who knows if it'll come into fruition? <laughs> the plan right now is to just work a lot. Yeah. Okay. Make a lot of money. I'm a server like you. Sure. I need to look into internships. I'm just a sophomore, so you have, you got time. A little hard to come across, yeah. but I think I should still try. But I need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> need to get on that. I'm the same. I don't have anything locked down this summer yet. My yeah. my current plan is just go home and wait tables for the whole summer, which sounds worse than it is. I actually really enjoy my job. Yeah, I like it until they overwork me, and then I just yeah. And then I'm like, uh, okay. do you get a set schedule, or are you just every yeah, every week? They refuse to set my schedule. Really? So like some weeks I'll work eight shifts in six days, sure. and then the next week, well usually it just increases. Yeah, it I'll just start like up. four <laughs> shifts a week during the summer, and by the end of like this literally happens by it's the end of the summer, shifts, yeah. eight shifts in six days. Yeah. So. That's how it is. That's, that's how it goes in, in the, the restaurant business. Yeah. yeah. Um, while we still have the time, we're just going to take a minute to do kind of our last minute plugs for Pamplin events. So obviously, course request open today. Um, that goes for two weeks. Make sure you get your course request in. If you need any help with that, stop by the Pamplin um, Counseling Center or mm -hmm. the Advisor Center. It's they right have, where we are. It's right across on the corner. We're on yeah. the middle of the atrium. And you can do walk-in appointments. You can schedule an appointment. Um, every single time that I've done that, they've been very helpful. They've, they've laid out what I've done, what I need, and everything like that. Um, they also have, they don't advertise it, but they have sheets. If you want to double major, they'll have a four-year plan for you. Already made. Yeah, yeah, with the double major. And so that's so helpful instead of balancing it all yourself and doing that. Sure. They don't advertise that, but that's like a treasure. Yeah. To have someone already do the overlap. Which is very, which is nice. very nice. Yeah, yeah. I, when I went in for um, my first Pamplin advising um, center after I got into to Pamplin, they were like, all right, here's what you've taken. Here's what you need. Is how you do it. And I'm like, yeah. oh, awesome. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, so if, if no you're stress. if you're struggling with it, if you're kind of stressed out, schedule an appointment. It's it's not that hard. It's not it doesn't take that much time, and it's going to help a lot. They and also plus, have advisors for transfers, like we were. Yes, exactly. And plus, you're going to walk out of there with a printed piece of paper, listing what classes you need to request. I've had mine for like two years. Yeah, mine too. Folded I, I, in my backpack. I have the same one. I just like go and I'm like, oh, all right, plan this out, and then I add yeah. them in. Yeah. Um, next up, we have again the Pamplin Society Awards. If you um, are an alumni and you want to nominate other key alumni for the Pamplin Society Awards. Um, do that, that's gonna be on our, if you check our LinkedIn profile, that's um, Pamplin College of Business on LinkedIn. We're gonna have all the links there. They're, they've been there for a while. Um, you can just check them out there and they're open for another month. Mark, April 19th is when they close. April 19th. So that's the Pamplin Society Awards and then you wanna do this one? Yeah, Woman in Business again, Charlotte and DC, two separate events, both this Thursday, the 21st of April. Just a great collection of powerful, empowering women talking about it. A lot of people are going to be there. I know a couple different organizations from Virginia Tech go. 
But I just think that's going to be really great, a great opportunity to network, to be influenced by some of these great speakers that they have set up. And I'll be there um, as a guest. And Women in Business plus Ben. Plus Ben, yeah. So make sure you register for that. The link is also going to be on our Facebook and LinkedIn profiles. Yeah. Um, lastly, just kind of like our, our, again, podcast plug. So episode two is live. It's been live for just over a day now. Um, episode two and then episode one is also on there. We are on Spotify and we are on iTunes. If you want to get the links, you can go to pamplin.vt.edu backslash podcast and click the link there. If you're already on Spotify, just search VT Pamplin, our voice, and it will show up. Same on iTunes. Um, so check out that and that's, well, that's going to be the running show. So this is a one-time event. The podcast is going to keep going. Next episode is set to drop bi-weekly. in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bi-weekly on Mondays. Um, so, and thank you to everybody for all your support on that. It's been an awesome project and I've loved yeah. working on it so far. And I'm excited for the things to come. We have some pretty exciting episodes coming up. Um, you thought these skits were fun. Yeah, <laughs> just you wait. Um, yeah, and so then the last one, obviously, again, um, Giving Day is going on currently. It's going until 12 noon tomorrow. If you haven't had your chance to donate to Giving Day, um, you still have plenty of time. That's going to be on the uh, Virginia Tech website. Do I get it pulled up? I don't want to get the link wrong. Yes, it is. It is givingday.vt.edu. And then they make it super easy to fill out your donation. You just go in, you click donate now, you fill it out just donate like we did. Donate to Pamplin. Yes, donate to Pamplin uh, and, and help us reach our goal um, and, and move on from there. So I, I think that's just about all we got. I guess our um, guest caller was too busy at work, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, I, I was surprised when they were like, yeah, we have two people like the, that can just call on a Tuesday. I'm like, yeah. how? <laughs> Not so, during a lunch hour yeah, or anything. So yeah. no worries there. Um, we'll, get, we'll, we'll try and get them on on a future podcast. Um, and we'll we'll go from there. So I'm I'm just about ready to, to sign off. What about you? I'm ready. Yeah. I, ready I need I need like a cough a drop and, and a walk is what yes, I need. I need the rest of this muffin. <laughs> yeah. I need and lunch. A walk. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe I should do that. Our final uh, giving day total, if you just want to navigate over to the Virginia Tech website real quick, is two hundred ninety-one thousand four hundred ninety-nine dollars raised for Virginia Tech with over fifteen hundred donors. Fifteen forty-six is what it's at right now. Um, thank you so much to everybody who's watched. I, as we've mentioned a lot of times by now, we've had a lot of fun with this. Um, and, and thank you to all of you for being on this with us. Um, and if you're, if you missed the, the beginning of it, or you just want to see certain segments or send it to anyone, this will stay on the VT Pamplin YouTube channel. Yep. So you can just sit there and watch it. Um, you over can change the speed of it. You can watch it over and over again, do whatever you want. You can watch Aaron. And make sure to subscribe because middle. we're at 99 subscribers and I think we should hit a hundred. We should have. Oh. oh. Look at that. Perfect timing. Just, all right. Hello, can you hear me? Hey, Ben, it's Christina. I'm so sorry I got caught on a call. No worries. You caught us at just the perfect time. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for agreeing to call with us. We're so happy to have you on the show. Who am I speaking with today? No, it's Christina Daves. Nice. Thank you for calling in, Miss Christina. Nice. <laughs> I almost said, yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about who, you, who, what are you doing right now? Who are you? What, what's your job? Who am I? Um, My company is PR for Anyone. I actually have two companies. I also have Castmetic Designs, uh, where I invented a product. And needing to get exposure for it, I got very good at marketing and PR, and that led to another business. So I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm a tech graduate. My husband's a tech graduate. We have two kids at Virginia Tech right now. Wow. Uh, So we're big Hokies. As are we. Yes. Well, thank Good. you again for agreeing to take our call. Um, we just have a pretty quick interview for you. Um, so you said, sure. you said you are a graduate from Virginia Tech. What was your degree in? Uh, political science in German. I was a double major. All right. That's so funny. My, I was going to do international relations in German. Okay, good. And I'm doing nothing with it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you, uh, you like your job? I love my job, That's yes. Um, so have you had the chance to participate in Giving Day just yet? Uh, not yet, but okay. I will. Plenty of time. Um, I've been yeah. waiting. You have yeah, until, I've got all day. Uh, you have until 12 noon tomorrow, so so uh, you have plenty of time. No rush. Yes. Nope. We knew we knew it was today. We've been waiting. <laughs> what is your favorite part about being a Hokie? Uh, other Hokies. That's a good answer. That's true. Yeah, we've definitely seen that today. We've, we've been doing some dares yeah. around the pamphlet atrium, and everyone is just so nice about it. Everybody's so yeah, nice. We were exciting. in Munich, Germany, and we were at the Huffbrow House, and my son had on a Virginia Tech shirt, and this guy walks up, and he s- says to my son, oh, I went to Tech, and my husband looks up, and they knew each other from Tech. Oh, wow. No way. 
That's yeah, funny. in Germany. Like, it was crazy, but that's <laughs> that's just how Hokies are. We yeah. see people in the airport all the time, and um, I just Hokies are just... California. Yeah, Hokies are cool people. And they're everywhere, that's for sure. One thing that I, yes. I come into ca contact with a lot is my job is I wait tables, and sometimes I get, you know, tables of, of a Hokie family, and then I just get to connect with them on a whole other level. I love when that happens, because then yeah. they're, like, very yeah. personally attached <laughs> to you. So why, uh, yes. why do you give on Giving Day? Um, because of everything Virginia Tech has done for me, that I, I love to be able to give back to the school. And... Um, you know, it takes money. It's, you know, there are scholarships that, that, you know, we participate in and programs, you know, some of the kids being able to go to, not kids, sorry, students, um, but, you know, being able to go to New York or California to go to a conference and experience things that, that you know, you can't do it if there's not money there to deal with it, Absolutely. you know, to help, to help point. pay for it. Absolutely. And the experiences that they get are better than, you know, any job training they're going to get in the summer. That's for sure. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. And it's funny because our two other callers have said the exact same thing. Oh, well, we might have a theme here. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think so. A great one. Is there anybody that you want to uh, give a shout out to? <laughs> As in someone at Virginia Tech or? Anybody you wish. Yes. Anybody. Well, I love Donna Wardalick. I think she's just... <laughs> Amazing. Probably heard that a few times today. Yeah. Um, but she, yeah, she, I'm on the marketing mentoring board and she heads that and she is our fearless leader and, you know, allows us to share what we do with students, which is just something that I absolutely love. Uh, so she's a rock star. Absolutely. We, we, agree. we will forward that message. Yeah, she's actually right here. She wants to come <laughs> say hi. Do a little sound bite for her. Yeah. yeah, no, she's right here. Donna, do you want to say hi? It's Christina Daves. Oh my god. We've got her on the phone. Oh my god. Sure do. Christina Daves! Oh my god. I, I just gave you a big shout out. Oh my god. Well, wow. we're shouting your name out so much, and hopefully, you know, this giving day, and Christina, you've been just one of the most incredible supporters, mentors, oh. you know, they, she gets the students internships, jobs, she's still, you know, alumni, she talks to them for years and years and years afterwards, and then just everything you do with the um, marketing industry mentoring board, I mean, uh, we'll never forget a couple of years ago through Pamplin, you hosted Hoda Kotb and just were, I mean, we, we all said, there's the new co-host, amen, that's it, it's Christina oh. Days. <laughs> But so you're the, you're the I ultimate. I love Virginia Tech. I know. You are the ultimate Hokie, and I love that we've got oh. um, your children here because they are just making such an impact. And without <laughs> alums like you, Christina, that are so dedicated and are just always just put the best foot forth and really communicated to other alums, we wouldn't be where we are. So I just, you know, I love you to death, and I just wanted to thank you, too. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's a mutual gush fest. Yeah, you're awesome. But everybody, yeah, everybody needs to give for Giving Day. We were all there, and we're all doing things in our lives now, and just have to remember back to when we were there. And like I said, the resources available now. Donna is the perfect example. She takes these students on these amazing trips. I've been on one of them. They, I wanted to go back to college. I wanted to go uh -huh. ma major in advertising and get a new job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but those are experiences that, that they'll never forget and that will help them with jobs. And it's just really important to give back. Yeah, no, it really is. And when you think about it and think about the other a lot of other universities for, you know, a while have been doing it. So I know we just started last year, but we've got Pamplin, you know, we actually have the most alumni um, donation and participation. So hopefully we will keep our record up. Yeah. All right, girl. And the well, big, big statistic is Virginia Tech has the happiest alumni of any school in the country. Oh, my that's God. That's pretty cool. Really? That is that's awesome. That really, really yep. is. And you know what? You come back, you come back into the portal and you're, you know, you're, you're brought back to those college days. The, you know, I think yes. the energy, every, everything is here. So it's, um, that's really good to know that good statistic. Yeah. Happy yeah. Just that's alumni. good. Yeah. Thanks, Donna. <laughs> I can't wait to be one of them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Bye. Well, thank you for taking our call, Ms. Right. Davis. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. All right. Good luck with everything today. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Thank have a good you. One. Bye. Bye. That's that was great. like perfect timing. It was yeah, like as we were it about really to like was. It. <laughs> I know. We're just. Well, I'm glad we were able to get that in. Yeah. Yeah.
It's getting warm in here. And the sun is coming I know, the sun is really beaming down on us. Well, that's all we got. We're, we're at our time and we got our final call, so let's go ahead and end this. Thank you again so much to everybody who's been watching. Thank you to Pamplin, thank you to Prism, thank you to Jim, thank you to my entire team, and thank you, Kendall. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. This has um, been great. Again, we have Given Day going until 12 o'clock noon tomorrow. Make sure you get your uh, donations in, and that's all I got. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right. Bye. Have a good one.